speaking of airplane mode, I had a panic attack for like two hours coming back from Minneapolis. What? It was the worst turbulence I've ever felt. And I'm not really? a good flyer. Going there, fine. Easy peasy. Reading my, you know, fancy football magazine. Chilling. Damn On the it, way no. back, it was... Oh, the whole way. Really? Yeah. Did you think you were going to die? Sh- Dude, that's, that's what anxiety is, right? Like, just being worried about? Just worried about the worst case scenario at all times, and you can't can get you, away from it. Can you just hit the button so it keeps turning? Because i got to smoke in between turns. <laughs> <laughs> I can't light the lighter. Because <laughs> it's like, well, no, no, no. There's a button on top of the fan. Oh. It's old school. All right, hold on. Yo! Yo! Sarah Wolf! Bauer! Hey. <laughs> I don't think I've ever called you Sarah Bauer. I never have, yeah. Not ah! Towards Not towards the turn of the <laughs> All my receipts go flying. There's one back there. We can move that. I lift it up? So we don't need this one. No. Unless you want our camera for Sarah. Can you put that somewhere? Yeah, why not? She gets it next to Sean, right? Okay, we can put that next to him. You want to sit over there by me? Except we will only see Sarah when I'm on the white dot. Right here? I'll be the next to Amanda. Okay. I'm not here yet. And are. she's like shoving wings in her mouth. Like, I'm not going to be on camera. I'm not going to be on camera. I'll be wings. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Isn't it cool as shit? Have you not seen it with all the equipment yet? I don't know why people don't like the headphones. I kind of like hearing myself. I love it. I, I think I sound sexy. Yeah, you do, yeah. bro. I love you, man. <laughs> Yo, Mark Mez, we got that thing coming up. Oh, yeah. I pumped. put it in the calendar. I'm not going to. I'm going to try to Shout out to Mark Mez. What's up, bro? I love you. I love you more. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I feel like now that we had our chance to do the podcast, we won't have, we won't remember all the crap we want to talk I know. about. No, I actually had a couple notes, oh, but I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait to see if we don't talk about don't remember. anything. Yeah. yeah, we just send each other so much scientific shit all the time. I feel like I have to take my yeah. You can talk, Sarah. Just here to observe. So, Sarah, did just you know? Oh, that was good. Did you know Sean is actually short? For my full name. Did you guys know I had a full name? No. Sean's actually my short name. Yeah. It's Parma Sean. <laughs> Sean is a dad of other months now. And the dad jokes are kicking in hard. All right. That joke was a little cheesy, but. <laughs> oh, my God. That's why it's. No, no, do it. We have it. Oh, yeah. We got to do oh, it. I have to do it myself. And now we can actually hear it. I know. We got to play. <laughs> Yeah! yeah! First nice. try. On top. <laughs> well, that's that was pretty good. Uh, she doesn't have headphones. Good. So, like, my other guests don't like wearing headphones, but Sean would always be hitting the buttons and shit. And no and one hears it, so Sean I'm just laughing. laughing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, it's oh, that's hilarious. That's why you need the, you need the headphones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it makes, makes the podcast. I will say it, it locks you in. Yeah, like you, you're yeah. in it. You're mm-hmm. hearing the audio. You're hearing each other. Yeah. It's not too open to the environment. Is yeah. the, ca- are the cameras good? Yeah. Good. So I opened a meeting at work with that joke before and set the tone, <laughs> <laughs> and we got nothing done. <laughs> Started with that joke, and everybody just looked at me like, oh, okay, it's going to be one of these. No, he's this a is actually clown. a good He's meeting. a clown. No, you got to you no, have I, fun. Yeah, you know I, I mean, w- it can't be all serious all the time. I agree. Like they say it in The Shining. You know what I, I mean? Think- <laughs> all work and no play. Makes Johnny a dull boy. I think it's Jack, but... Yeah. Jack or is it Jack? Is it Jack or Johnny? <laughs> Here's Johnny, isn't it? Ah, yeah, it is it? Johnny. Makes Johnny a tall boy. Yeah. yeah. Science, bro. All right, what do you want to talk about? I've been wanting to talk science. about science. I haven't had any uh, scientific conversations in a very long time. I mean, we could go right into I what, do you think what happens when you die. Because oh. that's what I think about a little too much now. And it's since I've had my kid, I think about death a lot. Do you, and I don't you, like it. Are you only worrying about, like... Um, worried about leaving him too soon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I don't want to. I don't think you will, though. You're a very healthy individual. The odds of you just randomly dying, I feel like, are very, very slim. Yeah. It would help if I paid more attention to when I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. I don't know. I am such a different person when I'm around my kids. Same. Same. Actually, I actually became a different person when Roman was born. Really? Like, I always, I, I had a note in my phone since I could look at it, the date, maybe like 2015. Look at martial arts. You know what I mean? Like, get into martial arts. Yeah. Something I've always wanted to do. He was born, and I was like, I might have to beat up somebody's dad. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> time to fucking learn martial arts. That was the reason? <laughs> well, no. He was born, and I wanted to be a better person. Yeah. yeah. So, like, 
Dude, that's, that's when I got into MMA shit. That's my motto in general, obviously. Like I said a thousand times, but why put off anything? Yeah. I, we, like you were t- saying about, do you worry about death? I'm not worried about death. I'm just worried about running out of time. Like, there's so much I shit I want to do. I know. Maybe it's more of that and, like, it's there. You know what I mean? Like, when it comes to life, you can't go backwards. It's only forward. Yep. So when you look at the time you have left, it's always counting down. Yeah. And that's, like, with somebody with anxiety, it doesn't, oh, I'm sure doesn't so feel great. great. I had uh, my house insulated. I had, like, the spray foam put in from the outside because I have an old farmhouse. And the crew that came up, I wasn't there for when they arrived. I got there at the end of the day. I came in after work. And I'm, like, talking to the guys. Like, oh, man, you got the dream. This is so nice. Like, how hard did you have to work to get this? And I'm, like, how old are you guys? And they're, like, oh, yeah. And they, like, look like us, kind of. Like, you know, you would get do- super sexy. 25, 20. Yeah, super sexy. 20, <laughs> I'm 25. I'm 26. I'm 24. I'm, like, I'm the old guy. I'm the old guy that, like, I would go to work on people's houses and be, like, oh, my God, you have such nice stuff. Like, I can't wait to be you I one remember, day. I remember doing hardwood floors with my dad when I was, like, a teenager. Yeah. Going into these houses, I'm like, wow, look at that big screen TV. Look how big this living room yeah. is. Like, look at all this nice stuff. And I'm living in, like, an apartment with Josh Deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I just, that made me feel, that made me feel old to the point where I was like, whoa, reality check. Like, I'm, I'm older now. Like, we're in our 30s. Yeah. I didn't really we're hit the me. old man. Yeah, but, the like, old men. 30, 31, 32, I don't, I didn't feel like I was a 30-year-old. Like, 33, I feel like a 30-year-old. Well, I mean, with me, 33 lined up with my kids, so now I'm a dad. Now I feel oh, like yeah, yeah. all this... Like, I looked at a picture when my son was born. My beard was not that fucking gray. <laughs> now it's, like, half gray. Like, in the last year, I've become an old man. Yeah. Without well, a doubt. Well, not sleeping is not helping. Dude, that, that's, that's the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with in my life. It's... Right now, it's an essential is part. Not getting you sleep. have to sleep. Yeah, he wakes up at two in the morning every single night, if not one in the morning every single night. Doesn't go back to bed till about three in the morning. So, at, just imagine setting your phone and it going off at two a.m. and just staying up till three a.m. for no fucking reason, and then going back to bed. I haven't had eight hours of constant sleep in over ten months. Oh my! And God. it's like every day I'm living in a fog. Like my brain feels like it's still trying to like. Uh, you could go back to bed right now. If you, <laughs> to, you know what I mean? Like, that's what my brain feels like. See, I did. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm, we're old. I went to my mom's <laughs> house today and, like, sat on the couch and fell asleep for, like, 15 that's minutes. That's what I mean. And then I woke up. I could do it up. right now. I never. I could use this time I, at the podcast <laughs> to take a nap. I never <laughs> used to be a guy that could take naps. Like, I never. I, I only never. sleep in my bed. Yeah. And today I just was like, this is comfortable. Yeah. So <laughs> I've always been, like, a. My eyes, you know, like when they say sleep with one eye open, mm-hmm. I've always been that person. Like, I, you could turn the knob on my door. You're a very light sleeper. And very light sleeper. But now, I could actually take naps. I can actually go to sleep. I went to bed the other day. I put my hunting, like, headphones on, like, uh, when you, like, go shooting at the range. Yeah, yeah. Put those headphones on. Put a pillow over my <laughs> Jesus eyes. Jesus Christ. And I was the deepest sleep I've ever been from 6 in the morning to 8.30. So, Roman wow. was up at 1. Roman was up at 2, 3, 4. And then finally, again at six, and I told Heather, I was like, you have to take him downstairs. I need at least one hour of sleep before my alarm goes off at like seven. I put the headphones on, pillow over my head, and then my alarm clock goes off at seven, sleep through that, all the way till 8.30. Finally, Heather like shakes me. I'm still like headphones and pillow, deepest sleep I've ever been in. I take that off and I look at her and I didn't recognize her. My brain literally took like four seconds to be like, who the fuck are you? Where am I? And I've never had that. My body like went into like a slight coma. <laughs> like my, I needed that much sleep for an hour. It just like shut down. I bet, I bet I was probably not even breathing that there, much. You probably had a low heart rate. Low yeah, like that's what I mean. Like, like that, like like deep, deep sleep. And you, I haven't slept. Your like body that. needs it. Ever. Yeah, it's trying to restore itself. I know, I know, and I'm not getting it. You right guys now. should. It's tough. We used to take like turns where we like because I had the cabin. We I would are. like go stay there one night, and then she would yeah. go out and like go with her friend's house for a weekend. Yeah. Because that helps. Like, once a month, if anything. You know, I know. You I just get... went to Minneapolis. I got two good nights of sleep out oh, of yeah. five that I was there. But then the other three nights, I was, like, thinking <laughs> about them. Like, I wanted, like, yeah. I, like, was still thinking about Isn't them. So I wake weird? up at 2 a.m. Did you know Minneapolis is, like, so it's Midwest. It was kind of like the tropics when, like, a thunderstorm would roll in. 
be there for like 15 minutes and then roll out. I had no idea. They have tornado warnings. Yeah, it makes, they have big hail well, that comes out. Flat. out they're of really nowhere. flat, right? That's what That's it is. That's why. Because yeah, there's nothing to stop it. Yeah, it, it just came in. And the one, it was like two in the morning. I woke up middle of the night because I'm used to waking up at that time. And it was lightning every second. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm looking out the hotel window. I'm like, oh, that shit's crazy. Yeah. Trying to go back to sleep. Uh, it was literally the most lightning I think I've ever seen. Wow. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Do you think it's got? A, there's a reason for that? I think it's location, easy latitude, to ground. longitude. Like the clouds, it's just easy to ground. It's probably more like the flat and the way the air connect. Like, um, yeah. like if it's a storm rolling, if it's like low pressure, high pressure, it probably just grinds really hard. Get a lot of thunder. Get a lot of yeah, lightning. Yeah, that is a point. Like, cause that, that's north of the Rockies, right? It is probably north of the Rockies, but so still that's like where the, far where east saying, from the Rockies. That's where the, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the jet stream is probably going around the top oh, of the Rockies. Oh, yeah, maybe coming and then down that. flat land like that. Yeah, and like yeah. you said, a lot of high, low pressure. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why it's so crazy. It was, it was a lot of freaking lightning. I don't think we saw much hail. If it did, it was overnight while we were sleeping. But it rolls in just like the tropics and then rolls out like 15 minutes later. Then the sun's back out wow. again. Yeah, it was crazy. That's yeah. how Texas is too, right? Like the, the south. Mm -hmm. I feel like they get really Maybe. quick storms. Yeah. But they get like minus 40 without the wind chill up oh. there. And then it was 97, the highest one we were there. Wow. Last, yeah. Like very extreme. Like I thought Buffalo was pretty extreme with our like 92. No, and then like. I think the lakes help It us. does. It does. The lakes it, help us a lot. It moderates our temperature and yeah. our climate and shit. Yeah, I yeah. love I love where we live. We do live in like such a nice part of the, like the world even. I think if, if the lake's there to moderate. But if it wasn't for the lake effect snow, we'd probably be in the most chill place in the world. Yeah, like Los Angeles. Like just nice weather all the time. Yeah, 60, but I, degrees. Like even them though, they could, uh, can they get hurricanes over there? I don't think so, not really. Tropical storms, can they get? Yeah, yeah, I think it's California a tropical storm because it? it's on but that it never. Of, no, 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 tropical storms are below the equator, south, the southern well, hemisphere. Well, tropical storms can turn into hurricanes. It's like a less powerful hurricane. What do they call, what are the big, because they don't call them hurricanes south of the equator. Cyclones? Maybe. That's Maybe, because they're spinning the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you know that's a myth? When you flush a toilet The, the, the toilet south? is a myth, not that cyclones are Cyclones, because it's yeah, that yeah, yeah, big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The earth is like, that big. I was like, wait, wait, but wait. On a small it sounded scale, like you said cyclones are a myth, it's not true. <laughs> they're definitely not a myth. They're just upside down hurricanes, bro. Yeah. Cyclones are bullshit. <laughs> so you tried, you, you said you tried the toilet trick? I tried, so it's actually really funny, and mm -hmm. I will say his name. His name's JK. We were drunk late at night. I will say his name, <laughs> well, J.K. A, I know. <laughs> Everybody knows J.K. Actually, a lot of people might know. He's a, he's a good guy. A lot of people know. But um, we were like drunk at like two in the morning, and we were arguing about, oh, they will not spin the other way. And I'm like, get some pepper. We're gonna fill up your sink. We're gonna do this experiment right now. And I just started it going the other way with my finger, and it stayed going that way, the opposite way of in a know, sink. In a sink. Yeah, but yeah. what about a toilet? Same thing, but I'm not putting my hand in the toilet. Bro, you can't speak on it until you test it. You gotta it's, stick your so finger in the toilet. It's the manufacturer. <laughs> it's the manufacturer of the toilet. Yeah, they're angled. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the sink shit. is a good one. You have a neutral, stagnant yeah. water. Yeah. And you pull the plug. It's gonna start draining. Whatever way you get the momentum going is what it's gonna do. The Coriolis effect. It's because I'm probably fucking the way that name. Coriolis. Yeah. Coriolis. That will affect like hurricanes and big, um, large fluid dynamics, that's but what I was not say. the small sinks. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like a sink's too not enough of body it's of not, water. Yeah, it's spinning. just not gonna feel the effects of the. I wonder earth. how big you have to get. Ah, that's a good question. Because a pool, you can pool, spin both ways. Yeah, pool wouldn't be it. Pond, lake, but I don't know if you're gonna get storms. And you a, probably ro and get, a like, round enough and round enough lake to try it on. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Probably, probably gotta get to like hurricane size. Ocean. O ocean. Like ocean size. Gotta be ocean size. Yeah. We got to look up our science stuff. I'm going to pull up all of our Facebook messages because that's where basically all of them are. I, uh, Sarah, I still like think a lot about. I feel bad. You sure you don't want to join it? No, you like it? I, I don't want to be on camera. Well, your voice is on the internet now. Yeah, Talking to the mic. Tell us, tell us a subject. Voice. Tell us a, any subjects. Blurt something out. Don't say boners. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I don't, I don't have any subjects. No Sarah, subjects. you always say that, but I feel like you are you are very smart. No, I feel like I'm just there. No, like, I'm just no. There. we have good conversations. Do you want to listen? Mm -hmm. I sent you guys a lot of podcasts. So, again, what I started with, what do you think, what do you honestly think happens when you die? I mean, because that's like... 
to me, that's the biggest question that you could ever ask. Like, we're living a life right now. What happens when you're not living that life anymore? Where, where are you? Is your consciousness I, still there? I'm starting to believe that we are, we are um, energy beings that have multiple lives, but across the universe. So, like, our next life might not be on Earth. You might be an amoeba on some other planet. Like, that could be so a like life. So, like, reincarnation? Kind of, but reincarnation, I feel like, is specific to the world, like, Earth. Mm. Whereas I think an energy, like, you might become a star. Like, your your energy is you. Like, it's that's your, almost, not your personality, but, like, your spirit, your soul. That's your energy. And y- this is just, we're in a human body on this planet Earth in this lifetime. Like, that's what we are right now. But you could be, like, when you die, you could you could become a tree. You could come back to Earth. You could live on some other planet in the universe as something else. Like, who knows? Yeah, I think, I mean... Because energy's everywhere. Like, And energy can't be created nor destroyed. You're right. say that, you know what I mean? So, like, your consciousness, your thoughts is a type of energy. I do believe that. You there, don't believe I was, your soul is an energy? I do, yeah. I do believe oh. that. Yeah, like, your consciousness. I mean, I call it consciousness. Like, See, I your think soul consciousness is consciousness, different than soul. Really? Yeah. See, I, I think it's all consciousness. Like... Like, your soul isn't going to go move that bucket. You know what I mean? But my consciousness will come up with that thought, and I'm going to go pick that bucket up and move it. Like, that's a form of energy to me. Where I think it differs is, like, your soul has that thought. And then your consciousness is, what like, you you have a conscious mind and your subconscious mind. How can you have two consciousnesses? You know Mm. what I'm saying? And the only reason I say that, um, oh, God, where was I going to go with that? Too much weed. (laughs) I know, you smoked a lot of weed. <laughs> I love smoking a lot of weed. <laughs> this is a, it's very relaxing. <laughs> I, I used to like weed. Oh, it's I the best. Yeah. It's the best. Um, so Energy, I read. I read something. Soul. I read. Oh some, no! Wait, wait, I got okay. it. Sorry, okay, sorry. Keep sorry. going. Your consciousness is like your mind, right? That's your. That's what your consciousness is. Like it makes decisions. If our body and chemicals and food and drugs can affect our actions, which is our consciousness. I think your consciousness is more tied to this physical realm. Like this, it's like how you control your body and your thoughts. But if that can be altered, like there's days where like you don't get enough sleep. You, you're foggy. You make different decisions. Mm. When you're really healthy, you're making clear-minded decisions. You do. I'm a different person when I smoke weed. I'm like this lazy, lethargic. Like, but that's not normally me. But when I'm not, you know, I'm a different Stephen. I have like versions of Stephen. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, get- I think the soul is separate from consciousness i think that's like your energy your energy doesn't even have to have like thoughts per se okay but it's like it's you i see what you're saying there i mean i think consciousness is who you are whatever your nerves connect to the brain and and creates thought your consciousness is you even though it might be this vessel i think consciousness could go on beyond this vessel especially when you start thinking about extra dimensions and alternate universes and all this stuff, that just opens up more possibilities for our consciousness to live on past death. That's that's how I take it. We're but saying con- the same thing different ways. You're calling I think it consciousness, so. You're, I'm calling it energy. I know, yeah. And that's, because the only reason I say that is if I was on a different planet speaking a different language, living a different lifestyle, my consciousness would be yes. different. Yes. So I read something that consciousness was there since the Big Bang. And our consciousness just finds a void, finds a vessel that could absorb it yeah. and now we're living through this right now until this vessel dies but our consciousness lives on and it might be in another dimension it might be see i i think i beyond the four dimensions so our four dimensions is the physical reality right x y z yeah then you add time that's our four dimensions but like scientists nowadays think there's 11 dimensions yeah so what is five six and seven what is eight it. nine and ten we probably can't even comprehend we can't it. comprehend it but you know what we might experience it when we die. I think that's where our consciousness goes. I think, so when you look at the physical reality, like here, like you could say the lighter is right here at this point, at this time, at 3.30 on Friday, I'm going to find this lighter here in this point of time. Fifth, sixth, seven dimensional beings might see all of time where this lighter was over there, when it was manufactured, when it yeah, was that's eliminated our consciousness can't all in one that. shot. I know that we can't understand it, but I think we will. I think we will experience our it. energy. Could that's what I'm saying. I think like, our that's, consciousness. That's why. Will, yeah. Yeah, but how? I think your energy or our consciousness will live on past this four dimensional. See, I associate consciousness with, now. with thoughts, and that's why I don't like calling it consciousness. I, I I associate it with that's the part of you that is you is you, and 
that it will be there past when the spy dies. I agree. Dies. I just, I have di little different details, sure. but I sure. overall agree with you. I think, yeah. yeah, that's that is how it works. And that's, I'm not really afraid of death, but that's what death makes me think of. Because now we're learning so much about what could be in like mm -hmm. different dimensions and drugs yeah. and like all like, I'm like, now I'm almost curious. I don't want to die, obviously, but I'm kind of curious what's going to happen after there's, death. I'm not really afraid of it. I want to like, there's I kind of want to see. scientist that was so interested. Did he kill himself? What happened? He killed himself. He took poison, knew he was going to die, and write down, wrote down his experience on a blackboard the entire time while he was, he was dying. dying. And then he said that he got really paranoid right at the end, and his writings got really like, like you couldn't really understand him, and then he obviously died. I think you might be able to look that up. There's a movie called... Do you know um, his name? I don't know. There's a Scientist movie... Scientist that took poison and killed himself. And recorded <laughs> it. And recorded it. There's a movie where they, like... Something chasers, I feel like, where they would die. They would stop the person's heart, and then they would Tran shock them back to life. And they would, like... What What did you see? Like, oh. there was a movie like that, and I can't... It was in the a 90s. documentary or, like... No, no, no. It was just like, fiction? oh, yeah, yeah, fiction. Old-timey. Okay. And, like, it was, like... Because they were trying to see something in like the afterlife, but it was a whole movie, and I can't remember what it was now. I wonder what the majority of people that have died and come back, what they've saw. Did they see black? I thought it's pretty consistent light? that light. But we were saying that that might be when the DMT starts being released, and I, you're oh going yeah, through that portal. But then right before you go through that portal, they probably like pull you back. Ah, yeah, back. yeah, yeah. Get back here, like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. <laughs> that was a Get Mortal Kombat. Here. Yeah, that's a good movie too. Oh, I love the new one. Yeah. Oh. Good I love action. the old one too. That was. I love action movies. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, I want to see Barbie. <laughs> Did you see it yet? No. Yeah. You went from I love action movies to <laughs> I want to see Barbie. I think that was on purpose. <laughs> that was on purpose. <laughs> okay. um, I want to see good segue. Oppenheimer. So oh. I saw a chart that said like the states that most people saw Oppenheimer versus Barbie yeah. and the Barbie was like all the blue states where all the Democrats live and then Oppenheimer was like all the red states. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, see, I'd honestly see both. What's Oppenheimer? I, it's about um, the scientists that created the atomic bomb. Oh, no shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I definitely got to watch reviews. it. Really? Yeah. yeah. I forget yeah, the actor's name, moment. but he's in... Uh, X-Men? He might be in X-Men. Isn't, isn't that who it is? I don't know. The main character? He's in a lot of shit. Magneto. Yeah, Magneto. He was Scarecrow in The Dark Knight. Cillian? Scarecrow. Murphy? Cillian oh, Murphy. yeah, I do know. He's like a younger kind of looking actor. Yeah. He's got a yeah. skinny face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he plays a good in, bad guy. He plays a real good oh, bad guy. Yeah, he's... Robert Downey Jr.'s in that movie? Is he really? Like Oppenheimer? Yeah. Who plays Albert Einstein's characters in that movie? They probably found somebody who looks just like him. Oh, I, I hope so. so. I hope he does that picture. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was had to be such an interesting time of humanity too. Oh. Like groundbreaking with technology. When the atomic bomb, did you know when they dropped? I mean, so the story goes: when they dropped the atomic bomb, they weren't sure if they were going to start the entire atmosphere. Yeah, they fire. had no clue. They had no clue. So <laughs> Could you imagine? It was it, yeah, we're dead. We're all <laughs> yeah, dead. just oh, it was just on Joe Rogan. One of his guests was showing him a video of like what we all know. You know how like there's that generic old timey video footage of a nuke going off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like, you can see the house, like, turning to dust, like dust. The guy says, it's fake. Think about it. How the fuck does the camera stay there? It's probably zoomed in from, like, uh, miles out. No, no. If you look really closely, it's, like, all model. It's re it's all fake. Well, how do black boxes survive plane crashes? They're built in, like, security boxes. So maybe it was built in a it's security box. It's a nuke, box. bro. Yeah, but if You're you watching a house disintegrate. What yeah, is gonna house, <laughs> you know houses. How easy... If I took a sledgehammer to a couple of these corners in here, it's coming down. It's not that good of a structure. Yeah, but I don't think anything can stand up to a nuke. Isn't that the whole point? Doesn't it just, like, disintegrate everything around no, it? No, it's just Co a really... I mean, right where it goes off, sure, but the rest is just a fucking yep, the explosive force. force. Yeah, yeah, that's just yeah. blowing it out. And then the shock wave and everything. Now I gotta watch that Then movie. the heat. The heat might melt a lot of shit. Yeah. But you get some heat-resistant shit, it'll probably survive. I, it just—it didn't even like shake. It, he made it like he was. It was very. Do you think like, we've been to the moon? I don't know. Oh come on! You don't think we've been to the moon? I before I, we get to the moon thing, moon thing I it can't was hear Tom. You. I, can't. I could hear. It you. was Tom Conti. Is Who is the, it? Tom Conti, C O N T I. Is the guy Albert that Einstein? Himself? No, oh. Albert Einstein in that movie. Oh, okay. and, um, I don't Oppenheimer. Know. Nice. I'll have to check it out. Um, I do you want to see that movie? The only reason I don't, and I always thought it was real. But as I'm getting older and learning more and more information about our government, 
I, it's like they lied it's hard to believe every anything day. That they like, say. Every day was like a setup or a lie, or they were trying to control the man. Like the Bay of Pigs, the reason they killed Kennedy. They the the head of all of our armed forces wanted to um, stage some kind of attack, like Cuba did it, did it to the U.S. Yeah. So that we could invade Cuba. That was the head There's of our military. A political agenda. But the more that I listen to Robert it's a ploy. Kennedy. The more that I listen to Robert Kennedy, it's just the Kennedys were actually trying to maybe take power away from those that have power. Oh no, no I was saying Kennedy's like, a good guy. Oh yeah, I no, just that's mean what the I'm fact saying. that yeah. our government was has has always been trying to lie to us. Always. So how can you believe that we went to the moon because they told us that they did? Like, there's a lot of great analysts that go like, "Here's this detail. Like, this wouldn't happen on the moon. Where's the stars in the background? Why is this this way? No, no, how did the put, camera get onto the I moon know. before the freaking space shuttle did?" Yeah, yeah, bro. Is that is that real? Is the camera on? The, the camera doesn't the, not watch them land. There's it watches no the first steps of man on the moon, of him opening the so door and jumping out probably, onto the moon. They probably set it up, put it out there, and no, then they, the footprints like, are the. It's like the big deal. The footprints we know, left footprints to, there so forever. We put rovers there would be on a Mars. Set of footprints to the camera back. We put rovers on Mars. We know that there's. You know Rovers what? and can a we, human being are totally Can we get a telescope different. and go look at the flag on the moon? Like right now? Like has anybody done that? Has anybody taken a picture of the flag on the moon? That's a really good idea. Because it's out there, right? What if it's not? Or has anybody zoomed in enough to look at the footprints on the moon? I think I they've been on the moon. I'm going to say I think they've been on the moon. I just... Because I know that... Dude, 1960s though, no, bro. Did you see the technology that existed in the 60s? Do you we know that a fucking these human have more computing moon? power yeah, than the spaceship come on. that took them to the moon? And we, get, we kept them alive for like four days Not as all they of flew them. there? Apollo what, 13? Okay, that's 13. Could you imagine if... Was 13 the one that had the teacher on it? No, you're thinking of... Um, you're thinking of the one that blew up in the yeah, sky? Yeah, that's yeah. A, that was way after Apollo 13. Oh, okay. That was called the Voyager? I think it was the Voyager... That blew up. Voyager is the, the like satellite that's way far out there. Look up uh, what was the name of the space shuttle? Apollo? Not up. Apollo. I thought so it was Apollo. Before we get there, um, okay. The Hubble Space Telescope isn't even strong enough to get a picture of the flag on the moon. So it must that's be that bullshit. small. That's bullshit. That's, that's it's bullshit. It's a different kind of lens. Bro. They can see far, but not close. Bro. And they don't have readers that on the That sounds like a great They got excuse. long distant lenses. Sarah, come <laughs> on. Guys. Readers, bro. <laughs> I can see a deer like a thousand fucking yards away. I can see ticks on his back with binoculars. No, you can't. You tell me. You can't see a tick on his back I have with a binoculars. 60, I have a 60X like telescope thing. Look, deer that are 500 yards away from the front of my house. I can see like the... Different coloring in their fur. Yeah, but that's not seeing a tick, which might be the same as seeing like a flea on a deer from that far away. Might be the same as like seeing a flag on the moon. But that's right me here. at home with a freaking monopod. You think the, moon you think is, the Hubble telescope, bro? Yeah, but the moon is two hundred and thirty-eight thousand miles away. They're, that ain't that much. They, that's, that's still they take pictures enough. of the sun where they can For see the it, like the flag. flame details the sun's, and. Su- Huge what compared was to your the other moon. question? But farther away, I'm just yeah, saying the amount of detail I'm can saying see the kind on the of sun. lens that they use is to look far away. They're not you, trying to see you, a flag on the moon. You could if we created. No one's trying to see a flag on the moon. If we created, we should. The we right should lens, and document it. Oh God. Yeah, bro. I got a big ass backyard. <laughs> we'll build we need, this big we ass. Need the telescope. lights out. We yeah. Need, at least some kind of pair of binoculars. <laughs> Dude, I hope that this does get out and somebody like tracks down a scientist that they're yeah. like, we should fucking... Oh, we took a fucking picture of it. We have it right here. That would be dope. Somebody has that to would quell seen all. It. That would quell all of I know. the we naysayers. Just, all we need to do is see the flag or the footprints. Do you know how much money you could probably make by making a building that has the telescope that could see it? So anybody that's a denier is like, yeah, pay 25 bucks. Walk in. Put your eye on the freaking telescope. It's just a picture in front of the <laughs> telescope. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's definitely what they'd say. I know. I, how do I know I'm actually looking at the moon? <laughs> I look at this tiny ass hole. I see a flag. They have to be there the entire process of yeah, being built yeah. to know it's real. Yeah. 25 bucks, though, that's a good deal. That's not a bad deal <laughs> to quell the, the whole argument. Ha- but why haven't I we gone back? How, why, why haven't okay, we gone so back? Okay, so maybe, so we know that technology can get there now. Aren't they going to send somebody to the moon soon? I think Elon's trying to with his uh, returnable rockets. Yeah, let's fucking go. No, he sent the car. The moon. He sent a Tesla into space, and he sent a <laughs> rover to Mars. I wonder where that car is right now. Deep. Probably I wonder deep. if the GPS still works. Nah. <laughs> that would be curious, though. Would you Could you imagine being an alien and you're driving your spaceship and you're like, 
fuck is that? Is that? Just watch like a Tesla. Is that a fucking Tesla? <laughs> God, <laughs> How fucking funny would that be? I hope the license plate is just one middle finger. <laughs> I can imagine. You know what it makes me think? You know, um, Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah. They'll be like Guardians of the Galaxy. They're like finding the raccoons. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's just a guy on the... <laughs> <laughs> Did they put, like, a dummy in the driver's seat? I think they did. Did they? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, we need a TV up in this bitch because there's so many pictures we could pull up. I know. I know. <laughs> what do you think of it so far? Cool. Did you think yeah. it was cool. Did you think it looks like this when you're listening? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you could probably... It's probably pretty transparent. Yeah. And we're in a shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. We're with laptops and I, two microphones. <laughs> I do watch the shorts that you guys put up, mm. and yeah. then I see myself in my construction clothes. I'm like, what a fucking bum. <laughs> The last what one you had, like, loser. Had, like, plaster, Paint, plaster on your shirt. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> this guy can't even change his shirt for his podcast. It's, it's real. <laughs> it is very it real. Is. I know. We I know. went for, like, that was one big thing when you started this was, like, authenticity. Yeah. Like, let's just sit around and well, have conversations. I think that's why Rogan does so well. There's he. I don't think he's trying to do anything. Yeah. I think he genuinely just, like, it's turned into something because so many people listen. Yeah. But I think he just genuinely wants to talk. <sighs> I feel yeah. bad for him, honestly. Cause, Who, Rogan? Yeah. I don't. He's a fucking millionaire. That's not, that's not always Money like, buys happiness, bro. It does buy a lot of happiness. I love the shit oh, I God, buy. I'd be but, so happy with a million dollars. No, but like the position that he's... I think he's going to find himself in a position of responsibility and power that he didn't really want. Do you know, I, do you know for a long time I hated Molly Cyrus and Justin Bieber? Molly Cyrus? Uh, Molly? Molly? Miley Cyrus. It sounded like you said Molly Cyrus. I did say. I'm sure I did. You've been um, drinking a little bit too much of that I, Maker's Mark. I, Shout out to Maker's Mark, yo, sponsor. Mark. <laughs> you see how smooth that was? That was quick. That's quick. No, but what I do want to talk about on here for a sponsor is the Bug of Salt. I have oh, I a gun that shoots salt at flies. It is the most fun I've had in forever. Like, every day when I come home, what's that? It's a small target. Yeah, but it yeah, shoots but it like shoots a shotgun that. spread. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you got to be, you got to be like from me to Sean, like aiming wise. But I live next to a swamp, so I have a lot of flies. And for us to get this water, we would miss all the time. This, you could just, like, really creep, bang, and they're done. It is the coolest little thing. I swear to God. Bug Assault 2.0. <laughs> so in Minneapolis, first time I saw the Bug Assault commercial. Really? Like, it showed it like it was a hunting rifle. Like, goes down the barrel, then to the Yeah, shaft, dude, that's what it looks handle, like. And, like. Dude, it works. It. it was a sweet commercial. I cannot Maybe believe how well it. it works. Yeah, you pop the top, you put in the salt. Yeah. You shut the top, you pump it. Do you have one it in pump? the car? No, it's at no. home. I want to see what We're it feels like We're not allowed to take it out of the house. It. it hurts. Did you do Dude, it? Dude, there's flies that I've shot. Like, if you get really close, it, like, it, disintegr like, it disintegrates yeah. them. It's nice. crazy. Nice. Yeah, and then you from snorted one... the fly dust. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gotta sniff my enemies. <laughs> yeah. Love that fly. But there is salt all over my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are constantly no sweeping and vacuuming. Ghosts. No, no. <laughs> no ghosts. That's what I told Lindsay. I go, we're probably keeping away a lot of bad spirits because no, every seriously. square inch every of my house corner. is covered in salt. Ghosts are trying to get in there like, is that the bug assault? <laughs> Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> the whole house is a barrier. <laughs> it works just point. like the Ghostbusters <laughs> gun. Yeah. Oh, bug assault. That's a version. Ghostbusters one. Ghostbusters. I, I, um, I, got, I loved it so much that I went outside and started looking for flies to shoot. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was having so much fun. I just start it. breeding maggots to oh, fucking I hate. blow them up. <laughs> no, just I hate flies. They're the worst. Yeah. There's not a single bug in the world that bothers me more than a, a stinking fly. Yeah, there's I'll one catch in here. it. I'll catch it. I'm Try actually it. pretty good. I caught one yesterday. No nice. lie. Ask Heather. I've caught, caught one, one before, yeah. So I, we I talked about it. this. It, so they only last for like a day, a couple days. Four hours, A Bug's yeah. Life. Great movie, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say it. Such a... One of my, one of my most really? favorite. Really? Like that That much? and Ants. I love that they came out at the ants same time. Ants is crazy. Ant, ants both makes me are, think of the world. Yeah, both of them are very cool movies. And they came out like very Showed similarly. Roman both of them. We've actually watched both of them. Oh, really? Already. Yeah, he only you, paid attention to them. You have Disney Plus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the best. Guardian of the Galaxy 3 is on Disney I saw, Plus. I got to watch I, it. I watched yeah, it. I haven't seen Super it Super good. It, did you? Dude, right, I, no spoilers. Get to you, Teary. Get to oh, teary. really? Yeah, it was Yo, really, the really. The second one got you kind of Teary. When, what's his they're name? They're good. Died? Like, Groot. saved Quill? No, 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 not Groot. Groot, the, the first one, too, when Groot gave himself yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Groot's But then who was like his daddy figure? Peter Quill's daddy figure? Uh, had cool. like the arrow. Oh yeah, uh, Zorg or something like that. Uh, Zerb, I don't Zerb. think that's right. But when he died, that was kind of internet teary person about that too. Yeah, he was. He turned into a good. Yeah. I, that is one character I love in movies. The bad guy that turns good. Oh, I know. It gets me every it's time. It's something about a hard man that goes soft. That like 
melts your heart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you got, like, a Girls. big, burly dude, and yeah, then he, yeah. like, does Seriously, something like, sweet. Can relate. You daydreaming yeah. over there? I'm watching. <laughs> Is she doing computer. cool stuff? Yeah. Yeah. The How do I look? Do I look okay? Do I have to sit? Do I have very to my chest out? You, you got a very good, bro. Yeah, you are nice. a super handsome man. Nah, I'm not that good looking. So I actually... <laughs> you are. You're very handsome. So, you're short, but uh, you're handsome. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> I make it up in, in dick size. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> bro, you're also Irish. Also bro, you're Irish. <laughs> I knew you were lying. You're Irish. I mean, Gail, come no, on. I just <laughs> hit the table with it. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> Prove me wrong. You don't got a telescope that could see that far? I, yeah, microscope. <laughs> My- microscope, bro. That's a microscope. So mean. Yeah, that's so mean. <laughs> Wrong instrument. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. The so, podcast is the best. I love it. So one of my notes, also, I put it in airplane mode, but I'm connected to your Wi-Fi, so I'm still getting all the <laughs> notifications that I was trying to avoid. <laughs> yeah, it's Fuck that up. So average empire length of time, do you know what it is? Uh, ooh, this is, let me think. Rome, Rome was like a, one of the longer Very ones. Very long one, yeah. China probably inflates that number with all the dynasties. <sighs> yeah, but then there's a lot s- of small ones. Yeah, I would say... Uh, 250 years? Oh my god, that's exactly right. No! <laughs> that's exactly Go- is it Google really? it right now. It's 250 years. Yeah, the I had to, like, a, a, no a, shit. Unpaid. I thought, did you not know that? No. That's a fucking great Well, because guess. I know, I feel like you were going to allude to America's coming close to it that. Is. <laughs> it is. What are we at? And 246? Yeah, something like yeah, that. We're right there. Uh, so I, what I, the fuck? Are we going to make it past? 250? Yeah. The, the only are, thing how far are we going to go? The only thing that scares me is how fast we are moving now because of technology. I think dynasties lasted a lot longer in the past because there wasn't so much technology. So things took a long time. Think about the mail before the mail system. Sending a piece of mail across the United States yeah. by the Pony Express. Yeah. It's like 14 days. Okay. So do you think that... I think it's accelerating that it problems. extends our longevity? Or do you think that brings the end of empires to the end? See, I don't know. Because I, mean? I don't know if it's going to save us. I don't know if it's what's also going to like perpetuate america because of yeah. technology or yeah. be our ending yeah because i'm seeing things happen like the, our last recession was 2008 like that was a big crash and we're already talking about another one you know the well, one we're last kind of already big one in one was there a well we're in a technical inflation. recession yeah yeah we're in a high inflation time right now so right. or is this just the new norm does it ever go back down or do prices only go up well, uh, in the 80s there was the price wage spiral so i think you're going to see what well, you're seeing it now like for me to pay a carpenter is like 30 bucks an hour, where it used to be able to guys 15 bucks an hour. 50? 15. Oh, 15, yeah. You used to be able to get workers for 15. You can barely get them for 30. So you're going to see the price wage spiral that happened during Reagan's time in the 80s. You're going to see wages go up, and then you're going to see prices go up because they have to now pay these new wages. And then you're going to see wages until it kind of like balances out. So will you be able to get a carpenter cheaper than what you're paying right no, now? No, but everybody's going to start Never. making more money. Yeah, but how far does that go? Where does this fucking money come it, from? It, we it, have to just print more money? There's only I'm, so much gold and silver in the world, so where does this wealth come from? We're, we're living off of fake money now as I know, it is. Like, I know, but when does, that, when does that hit a wall? How much fake money a can depression, you print? A depression? Yeah, I'm just... A depression? Like, the Great Depression was 100 years ago. I don't we live like in 100 the year cycles. of corporate America. No. I don't know if every country is going through the same kind of corporate system, but when you're trying to squeeze as much profit out of every industry you're only going to have to cut wages you're going to you're going to take away personnel rather than gain personnel right. you're going to automate you're going to lose well, jobs like, like we were saying about ai I just maybe don't that's like this path. maybe that's what ai solves for us solves it yeah because we don't have to work anymore ubi you know, becomes a thing and then we all just get creative ubi stands for universal, universal basic, basic income yep. income yeah Sorry. um i had to ask that earlier mm-hmm. when we were talking about it yeah, maybe, but you have to establish UBI then. What if we don't do that? What if it's fend for your fucking self for then the next go back to the 200 dark ages. years? Yeah, we, we do a barter yeah. system again like we just did. Eggs for zucchini and cucumbers. We did. Eggs, cucumbers, zucchini. We all just traded like around today. Yeah. And yeah. you went picking flowers today? That was pretty cool. No, let me get a flower. I've okay got flowers. That's about it. You, <laughs> can, you can have an I'll give you two eggs myself. for a flower right now. <laughs> right? I'll give you two right eggs. Now. <laughs> give the ones that have poop on them. Yeah, you're getting poop eggs. <laughs> you're getting poop I eggs. I didn't have enough in the house. I like ran to the bar and I was like, damn it, this has got a little poop on it. I was like, you <laughs> trying to clean them up for you. I'm going to eat that poop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't. But no, I will eat the I, egg with the poop we, on it. We don't really care that there's poop on them, but we do wash them off. Yeah. Just because like, no. if you crack it, I don't think you want to like 
extra like, like, poop in yeah, there. Like crumbs yeah. or like a mixing. Like in honestly, there. I won't feed but it's probably Roman healthy. those. It's probably eggs. healthy. No, it's so probably not. As long as it's healthy, <laughs> no, I don't care. No, it's, it's not. not. Actually healthy. Poop's never been healthy. That's not actually that's, that's not, true. not true. Chicken poop is very healthy. <laughs> I don't they know about feed, that. They feed chicken poop to cows. It's very high in nitrogen. Well, so they'll ever, mix it in with hay. Ever hear of the the process where they put somebody else's poop in your butt? Oh yeah. Right. That's a thing, uh, right? What? Yeah. Look that up. Why do they do that? Because like you're like somebody's healthy bacteria poop oh, for yeah. somebody that doesn't have healthy bacteria, they put their poop in your poop hole. <laughs> <laughs> and it again. makes a Can better day. Again? They take their it's poop and put it in your It's called a fecal transplant. Fecal transplant. Yeah, not poop to poop hole. <laughs> Yours sounds way better. Yo, so much more fun. There, it's going to be a new that's going to be the new meme. Yeah. <laughs> Poop to the poop shoot. Uh, Mr. Andrews, <laughs> we're ready for your poop to poop shoot. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. And it's yeah. one of the most absorbative parts of your body. So, like, you want to oh, yeah. get drunk super quick? Take a shot up the ass. Where do you think the rest of this maker mark is going? <laughs> <laughs> right to the it's, poop shoot. It's, it says, the easiest way to describe it is giving a healthy person stool to a sick person to try to correct their imbalanced gut microbiome. I believe it's it. all about the balance. Microbiome. Your, I think microbiome your microbiome in gut is very is important. so fucking important. Mm. I think if I fixed, because I take um, an acid, like an antacid, like prescription drug every day. I think if I fixed that naturally, it would actually help my anxiety. I, why do you have to take an antacid? I feel like you eat pretty I get, healthy. I do eat pretty healthy, but I still have this really bad acid reflux. Really? Might be genetic. Same. Yeah, you might, might have to genetic. eat certain foods to low, like lower your s your, your stomach acidity. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You should I've, look into like I've high heard octane. high acidic foods actually help with acid reflux. Yeah, I don't know what really? the pH of your ass of your stomach acid is because you have acids and bases, right? The lower of the pH scales are acids, and the higher is the bases. It might be basic. I don't really know which one. So. I think it is actually acidic because you could eat like a screw and it will dissolve. And, yeah, it has and to be. acids dissolve metals better than bases do. Bases are actually worse for flesh. Like you all like when you hear like, oh, I got acid on my arm. You know what I mean? When you're worried about like an acid splash, yeah. bases are actually worse for flesh than acid is. Oh. Just the. What will it do the, you? It will eat through your flesh just like any. So like if I poured milk on my arm, it would eat through my arm? No, not milk. Milk like is a, a great base. Yeah, but it's probably out of the base. It's probably look at the pH of milk. Yeah, it's you're probably right. It's like probably like seven point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably like eight. You know what I mean? Like a, a base that will eat through you is like eleven, twelve on the pH. How far does it go up? It's only like up to nine. Six point four. And that's actually acidic. Six point four to six point eight. Probably not this. What's that? That's what is the chart? Where is it? Seven, seven is neutral. neutral. So six point so four is, is very neutral. Yeah. It's very neutral, it's but it's not on the base six side. Away. It's you're right, you're right. Oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. It's I, on the, the other side. The scale. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Yeah, that's wild. I love milk. I, I just, I will, I don't care what it is. I don't care Roman's what they gonna say. Be on milk soon. Dude, every single, I promise you this. I, I promise you. I'm telling you the truth. Every day I eat two scoopfuls of honey from local honey oh. and a big chug of milk. Dude. Like, it is the, one of the best parts of my day. It's so delicious. Nice. I do. I am loving. Ever since um, who was that with Rebecca Crean? Cerny. Crean. Cerny. Rebecca Cerny. Yep. Since her podcast, I've had honey almost every day. I put Yo. it in my tea, or I dip like some food and eat it as like a, a side. So the the fact that I'm eating like we're we're trying, we get it local. Like I won't buy it from the store because I heard from other beekeepers that they'll make fake honey, and then. Fake. Uh, like artificial honey. Yes. Come yes. on, get fucked. We think about, about think that. about that Fuck. though. Do you really think they can make get that much honey from bees to serve millions of people? There's no way. They definitely are making. We're fake getting stuff. ours from. We're not getting artificial honey. Maybe. Actually, I have no idea. I so buy I buy it from, from like. Store, so. I buy it like off the side of the road. Like if I see a stand yeah, that says honey. That's. And then Becca told me that you should you should start beekeeping so I can get some. Oh, I would honey. love to. We talked about it. Yeah. So me and Lindsay were talking. I seen this thing on social media. It's like a little shed. And you walk inside of it, it has a bed. And underneath the bed is where the bees are kept. They're, the bees flap and make, you know the noise they make? Zzz, that frequency is like a healing frequency. It's scientifically proven. Like they've taken people's blood pressure, pulse. Like when you lay down on this bed with the bees underneath you, it's like bee vibration therapy or some crap. Yeah. Oh, can, there you go. But you can like feel it. It's, but the, the frequency of the it's megahertz, whatever noise. it is, it's good for your body. There is there's certain frequencies and, and megahertz. Damn, Sean. Really trying to get that last drop of Maker's Mark in there. It's it's really it's good for you. Yeah, yeah. Sponsor. Sponsor us. 
<laughs> Dude, Bug Assault, I feel like, is an achievable sponsor. I use the shit out of that gun. We gotta I'll, bring it on the episode. Then. I'm gonna start filming myself at home. Just start holding it like during the next like you, podcast. like you, hold it in oh, your underwear with a. That's a sexy pick. That is a sexy. Yeah, pick. we should bring that up. I might send Find you. It. I might send Find you. Can I put it on the internet? Absolutely. I'm I in my send underwear, it to you but and make sure we put it. My into bulge the actually looks pretty. No, good, you're in your so. jeans. You're in your jeans. Oh, I am. No in my shirt. Jeans. No shirt. No shirt. Yeah, but I so got Sean's, the cum gutters going. I have, <laughs> <laughs> I have trail cameras. And me and Sean are like walking around my property on the trails, and he has this crossbow because he's I'm hunting with a bow. He's over, and it's so hot. It's in the middle of like October, and Sean took off his shirt and he's got the crossbow like on his shoulder, and he's like in the picture. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I crossed. I just went through a trail cam. I didn't know he perfect. had it, and he went back to the trail cam. I'm photos. like looking through a deer, 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 no deer. shirt, and then Sean. jeans, low riding. Like, <laughs> oh my fuck? god. It's, it's a, a good great picture. Pick. Yeah. It's a great pick. Definitely gonna add that. Should make that my billy. profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> just the midsection though, like no face, just just you right should cut the off the pants so it looks like you're naked, like completely naked. There. I didn't. I didn't. If you didn't I'm know, pretty it was sure there, I... it was the perfect. Like trail cameras, sometimes they don't always go off the right point because the, the motion catches up. Like yeah, yeah. he's in the center of the fucking frame, <laughs> and he's like in this perfect pose. <laughs> It could not have been any better of a picture. <laughs> it was good. You it was so it good. To me. That, I was, gotta put it on. that was such a good to day too. Up. Like it was a Bills game. Oh but yeah, we, we listened to so, it old school with like a fucking uh, crank, old crank radio, radio. In, the, in the middle of my driveway. Yeah. I'm like two on stones. <laughs> He's in his underwear. I'm in our underwear. I took one selfie and <laughs> his underwear is like blocked by like my chest and yeah. like it looks like he's naked and I'm naked and we're just like straight roughnecking. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I don't like these stupid Out updates the they woods. do all the time. I don't know how to use my phone every six months. They changed the... It used to say albums, and then you could look in it. And, yeah, you can still I, can. I still... Yeah, I just can't find, like... Because I have it categorized. Maybe I could just Google every time sexy something pick. updates. Yeah, you can... I hate Somebody updates. needs to look at keywords, too. I think mm. he's in my hunting photos. <laughs> Go to your happened. trail cam photos. I don't, I don't have that... Is a specific. Damn, I don't have it. Mm -hmm. Unless I not thought it was worthy for hunting. Dang, I got a lot of deer. I do have this gem of us eating fresh turkey we shot that day. Yes, yes. That's me and Sean at the cabin. Dude, that after was he such a fun after hunt. After he blasted his yeah. first turkey. That ever. was like 40, because 45 yards out. And remember when we were like practice shooting the night before, like, and I just bought this turkey gun. Never shot it, and I told him, I was like, I'm not going to shoot this gun. The first shot that I take is going to be at a turkey, and it happened. And he killed it. Nice. Yeah, One I was, shot. It was, so turkey hunting is really, really hard. Most yeah. people go, I've gone turkey hunting many times since then and not killed a turkey. It's very hard. It was like our first time ever, picture perfect morning. We were out at the right time. We shut the door. We hear, like, everything was perfect. Yeah, it was, and, like, we had no we idea what we were doing. We the night before, yeah. looked for the shit coming out of yeah, the tree. Literally, yeah. like, there's a turkey up yeah. there. We're going to come back. Went there. Brought this bush over so that we could hide behind it. The big it. pine branch. He's fucking, yeah. pine branch. He came down. Steve's just over there. <laughs> I can't make this. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, no, making, the, the, like, the hands are like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> making the <laughs> artificial. Like, call, getting him in. He's, like, zigzagging, Zigzag. oh, coming in. And I'm, I remember, like, my heart's, like, racing yeah. at that point. And he's, like, still 40 yards out. Like, think about a football field. Almost half a football field out. And I'm, like, do I wait? What if he goes further than that? I'm, like, asking Steve, do I, do I take the shot? Do I take the shot? And he's just, like, <laughs> smiling, like, <laughs> still doing the call, not answering me. I'm, like, okay, boom. <laughs> Fucking got him. And that he, was, like, oh, he went I, down. It was such a cool that's moment. That's one of... The, one of my most vivid memories. It is like, for me too. For, for memory, like I, like I forget a lot. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I remember. I remember talking yeah. to you. I remember looking back at you and just this <laughs> smile, and you're just still calling. Like I was not so answering. excited. I know. It was I know. going so well. I couldn't believe it. You it know? was a, like exactly a picture perfect turkey hunt. Yeah, and those are hard. Turkeys, turkeys are hard to fucking hunt. That not. I have not been successful since. Really? Yeah. You haven't gotten one other turkey. I mean. Not dirty. Oh, you shot it in the hunting. back. I shot one what out of the air. I remember the slug. That's yes. a fucking shot and a half. That was a good shot. Yeah. I have pictures of that too, but we'll not we'll not share those mm -hmm. to the general mm -hmm. public. That was <laughs> probably a little gruesome. That was a little off. Yeah, I do love hunting too. Um, hunting season's coming up. It's gonna be nice and cool again. Yeah. I can't wait. 
I can't wait for fall. I do like fall. Pumpkin Fest. Mm-hmm. Pumpkinville. Should we go to Oktoberfest? Oh, yeah. I'm we glad you brought that up. Because we didn't go post-COVID yet, have we? No. like, Did they do it going during COVID? No, I think the, just the one year they didn't do it. And then they did it the following, but it was all precautions. You know, I was going to reach out to you and say we should set it up like we did the first time. We should. Yeah, you yeah. guys go up, don't you? I, I feel like one time we went up there, you guys were all up there at like a cottage you rented or something like that. Didn't we? Were we going to meet you or something like that? Or who did you meet up? Uh, I don't know. People always are going to Alicante. Yeah. We probably met somebody that weekend October. that we went. Yeah. Oktoberfest is the best. Oh, it's a good time. It's a really good time. Remember trying to get an Uber? You to don't like to it? That? Yeah, you don't. Just going to a bar. Well, you're a sober person. Well, like, what I wanted to do was the, the, was the um, mountain coaster. Nobody wanted to go with me. Oh, oh I did that I down was... in, like, Holiday Valley-ish. Yeah. I did that. Did it you really? fucking do it. So yeah. it's, yeah. it's like uh, right spring, so if you don't yeah. push it down, the brakes are on. So, like, if you are just right here, you're not going anywhere because the brakes are on. So you have to push it down to release the brakes. I held it down the entire time, and you're... Just winging it through fucking turns and shit. You're going a, down like a ski a hill. What are you riding? Coaster. What are you riding? Just like a cart. a cart. Like it looks. It's like a, a roller like coaster a miner's without cart? a motor on it. Like a miner's yeah, cart. Yeah, yeah. So gravity's taking you down. Gravity. But like uh-huh. it tells you on turns to like slow down. Slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Like, <laughs> just fucking cranking it. You're. Do you feel tipsy? You feel like you could get thrown out, but as long as you hold steady, the cart you're fine. Yeah. No, I, I don't no, think it will come off. Yeah. It's like a roller. Oh, it's like underneath too. So as long as you keep your body in there, you could just fucking whip it. Yeah. My daughter never ever wants to do that kind of stuff with me. So like when I have friends that will do that kind of stuff with me with me, yeah, like yeah. I was pissed. I was like, we're doing that today. Yeah, and like nobody let's do to. it before we get to the bar. You, you, know, you ever do the so um, funny. what is it like the sky? Oh, I forget what it's called. But you're up in the trees the and you have course. the ropes course. Yeah, like no, the sky course. One. Really, I dude, it so it. fun. Yeah. Me and Josh did it, and yeah. both of us don't like heights. Oh, no so shit. like it's graded from like. Blue is easiest, then green, then yellow, mm-hmm. then red, then black, or blue, then, like, double black. And, like, oh, it keeps wow. going up. And we only went up to, like, green, and it was still fucking wild. So then you could go to, like, you blue, zip line, then you? black. Yeah, yeah zip line. Yeah. You got a zip line between, like, so every yeah. course is, you have a zip line part. So you're, con- you're double connected. So, like, you're connected to the tree, then you go up the ladder, then you connect to this part, and then you could release the other mm-hmm. one. So you, if you do it right, you can't fall. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're always connected. But then the zip line, you connect to the zip line and then release from the tree, and you're just Going. on a zip line, dude. It's to, a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, I, it's a lot of fun. I'd go do it again. We Let's should go. It. We should po- go. Podcast. Do it. Yeah, podcast, <laughs> podcast road trip. Up in Let's fucking do it. Yeah, I'd like love that. It. You're in. I'm in. I would love that, dude. Damn. Because like going with Josh down. made my anxiety of like being up worse because he's even worse than oh, I with oh. height. And so you're if kind I went of people, empath. You're like an empath. I, man, I feel, I feel I can it. pick up you that take shit. take it on, yeah. 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 That That is something that's, I can't turn off. Like if somebody's feeling anxious or if somebody's uncomfortable in the room, I feel it. Like I can wow. instantly feel it and I want to help them get out of that situation, oh, you know? I'm so blessed to not have that. <laughs> oh, dude. Because I don't have, it does nothing. I'm very neutral. Very, very neutral. Yeah. Nothing really affects uh, what's your question? So when we were talking, so air, I have to bring up air because we've talked about it. The religion? So where, yeah. So where it came from, um, how I always say that I sleep with one eye open. Wait, I said before that you tell everybody what air is. So air is all or inclusive. what it stands for. All inclusive religion. So I was thinking, and this is where it came from. So I wasn't even fucking thinking about it. I was in this half asleep, half awake state. I'm literally chalk lined in my bed <laughs> and it comes to me. I'm like, oh. You know, if you just put all the, like, it was partial dream, partial thinking. You know what I mean? Like, subconscious and conscious. You were like theta state or delta state. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Yeah. I'm I'm literally right there where, like, I am, if you looked at me, I'm sleeping. But my mind's still still active. Dude, I love when I have that kind of sleep. It's so weird. Well, sometimes. So I'm thinking about, you know, religion caused a lot of wars. You know what I mean? Like, if you were just had some similarities and... So bring them all together. So I was like, all inclusive, and I was like, oh, that's a good acronym, like air, all inclu- like, all inclusive religion is it spells out air, and then like think about like a bubble, like how people wear like the cross. You wear like a bubble because that has it's air, and that's it? like oh, your that's like cool. little symbol, and like all these things came together. And literally out of a sleep, I'm like, fuck, I gotta get up, and I put it in a note in my wow. phone to like like I had to take myself out of this half conscious sleep state. 
to put it in my phone so I didn't forget about it like the next day. And it was like a thought that I had. And it's something that I still might like. If I ever write a book, it's going to be this. It's going to be called Air. It's going to be a way to involve all the positives of religion and take away the negatives and just bring everybody together. Like that's that's like my one dream. That would bring be people amazing. Together, I right think I mean? about it all the time. Yeah. We, we both came to the same conclusion just yeah. Mine was take away, yours was put them together. Put them together, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you take them all away, then you have the same neutral thought. Yeah. But mine was like reincarnation, sure, it could be, because the more that you involve science, the more reincarnation could be possible. Like, if consciousness was here since the Big Bang, it's in this vessel, like my consciousness is in this vessel right now. If I die, it might go to a fucking toad. It might yeah. go to a squirrel, you know what I mean? I might find another vessel that was just born Yep. To live in for a while, and then that just keeps going from there. You know. Do you, so you think that our energy stays with this planet? I don't think energy dies, and I think that's been proven in physics. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It's always no, been. No, I know, but I'm just saying because that's your. Like I said, your theory is the same as mine. I know. I just, yeah. I'm just incorporating all of you and all the I'm planets. I'm saying all the things because if you look at like the Bible and the way that it talks about heaven. It says like heaven is all around around us, right? Like you've heard like yeah, this is heaven, a preacher yeah. like heaven's all around God's us. What that means, us, yeah. all that's saying to me is it's a dimension that's here that we're just not experiencing yet. So yeah. you die and now you can experience that dimension. Your consciousness isn't in this physical body anymore. It's in this other dimension. So where you can travel like the universe and like because we're not bound by the constraints of like human yes. physics like yes it just yeah i get what you're saying so i think a lot of the religions have it right wherever it came from if there was a prophet that was talked to by to a higher from a higher consciousness got some information wherever this comes from i think religion has a lot of good things oh i think we're fighting over the wrong things that's you know what why i, mean? I so wanted that's to take what away air, that's why i wanted yeah. to take away because well, i, I want to just focus on the positives and take it, away the negatives but i think inherently humans if if I'm labeled a Christian and you're labeled a Catholic, mm -hmm. that is the that is yeah. why like if you're very all, tribal gonna, minded, yeah, they're, they're gonna fight because the names are different. It's, yeah. but I'm like it's that's why I want no labels. I mean, just think about like the Bills versus the Patriots. Yeah, <laughs> it's just fucking teams, and we're I literally know. seeing people fight over. Kill them, you know get them, I mean? yeah, yeah tackle them. Yeah. I might have thrown a punch, but you yeah. know, whatever. <laughs> that's now here and there. But there. that's why I wanted <laughs> it to just be so neutral. Like we don't need a we don't need to name that higher power. It doesn't need to be God or Allah. I just call it higher consciousness. At yeah. this point. Like honestly, I don't I don't know what it is. I think it's there. I think it even can talk to people and reach oh, out sure. because we're all consciousness. And we're we can't conscious. we can't if it's a higher consciousness, we can't comprehend its power. No. If it's always been there, yeah, you can't comprehend that. We think things start and stop. That's not always the truth. Like no. but what if God has or the universe or higher consciousness has existed forever? We just can't comprehend it. Oh, I don't like thinking about that either. So what does like what do you the universe that goes on forever. Is there a wall? Did you just hear that they just dated it to 26 billion years? Oh, did they really? Yeah. So almost double from yeah. what we thought? Yeah. Because Can you look that up and see what the new see? age of the universe is? Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, bro. It's always been it, like 14.6 it for like my every, whole life. I thought it was 13.6. Okay, maybe it's 13.8 13. billion years. Right, How much? So still 13.8. 13. Okay, so it, but see, Google to see if any new because oh, I see now. 26.7. Get the fuck out! I of told here. you, bro. Come on, where that did that come from? That ruins everything. It ruins everything. Yeah, but still, you still have a timeline of the universe. What happened 30 billion years ago? No, I just mean. What? No, no, no. But that's what I'm saying. Even if you put, even if you backed it up to 100 billion years, what happened 200 billion years ago? You know what I mean? Like, what was? What? No, I, I, agree, I agree with you, but I'm just saying now that messes up the whole timeline because they thought 13.6 oh, was the Big, like bang. the Big Bang. But yeah, now yeah, that yeah. ruins our our total reference of yeah, time. What's up? I'm, and this might be too much for you to read on, on air right now, but I'm going to have to read that. Yeah. How the fuck do they back it up that's, past the Big Bang? But that's my point. That, that, that means the Big Bang didn't exist because now the Big Bang's or 26 years. the Big Bang is a reoccurring thing that happens like every 14 yeah, million they, years. They, in and out, in and out. But yeah. I'm just saying that if they thought for this whole time that the Big Bang was the beginning it was 13.6 yeah, yeah, yeah. that ruins our understanding of time yeah, yeah, yeah. because the distance that you would measure in between stars over that's how they're calculating it well, out we, the, well now if it's fucking 26 that up forever they thought they were coming together and yeah. they thought they were going apart yeah. I'm pretty sure they're we know they're nothing know. we know everything we, no, know, we know nothing some shit. <laughs> yeah, we know some shit yeah Socrates <laughs> fuck you bitch <laughs> fuck you Socrates we know some shit actually who was it talking uh, about Bill. Socrates dude Bill. Mad respect after hearing what he had to say about Socrates. Sound like a cool dude. 
Yeah. Other Dude, than the touching the Stoics, kids thing. the Sto- yeah. I'm the Stoics is my <laughs> the Stoics is my new that the Stoics is like all those guys like um so Marcus is, Aurelius, Socrates. Just I don't people. really know what Stoicism is. It's not it's not a religion. It's like a like a way to think. a way of life. Yeah, like a yeah. way of thinking, like a philosophy, like a philosophy. You you can't worry about things you can't control. See, I um, would love that. That's th- that is my anxiety. You is loss dude, of control. Look into stoicism. Oh, I have. To. I'm watching this guy That's on social media. That's the only books I'm going to read for the it's, rest of 2023. Read Marcus. It's it's a hard read because it's him writing to himself. It's his diary. Mm. But Marcus Aurelius Meditations. Read that book. Okay. It's very, it's it's eerie how that many years ago, 2,000 years ago, they were having similar like emotional problems as us. Like, I don't feel adequate enough today. I'm concerned about my friends stabbing me in the back. Like, they had political drama. And, like, yeah, it was... Life back then was very, very similar to it is oh, now. of course, yeah. It's just crazy to think that 2,000 years of human existence... Nah, we're, the, we're the same. I always... I could see that. We're the same fucking people since we've been tribing up you know what i mean like getting a group of people together yeah. there's always been i kind of want what he has you yeah, know what i mean yeah. like and then po- politics, an then politics get involved yeah. and then you work your way to power and then you undercut this guy like i feel like that's always been there that's actually one of our downfalls greed and corruption Just being a human is our, is being our, a human yeah, is our biggest downfall. that's why ai will destroy humanity uh, and like i said i think it's going to help us if we can control it but I, I think if you had a being that was super smart like humans but no emotions to ruin those thoughts, you would be the perfect being. Our emotions, so. our emotions is what fucks up our decision. You ever watch the movie Ex Machina? I have not. I keep meaning to watch it. Watch it because ugh, I don't want to ruin it for you. I don't but care. this AI like fucks with this human, gets him to feel things, and then she totally stabs him in the back because she felt nothing. You know what I mean? Like it works towards making humans do what you want, but it's a machine that doesn't have feelings and you're viewing feelings on this machine and that's wrong because they don't feel. See, they are I'm, only logical things. That, see, that's why I'm conflicted about what AI is going to become. They're well, not going to feel. That's what I'll I mean. That. That, I think that they're not going to care about... That's a chemical about, reaction in our bodies and they're not going to have that. They're not going to care about what we care about. They're, they're not, not going to care gonna. about making us extinct because they're going to be focused on doing what they got to do. Well, I still don't think that they have... They don't have free will. Like you, I don't think you can program free will. Sorry, not yet. They're always going to go by whatever their program tells them no, to do. No, that's that's yes. being sentient. That, yeah, I don't know. think they're ever going to be sentient. I do. I don't. That's the singularity. I think when that happens, that's. Th- I don't think they're ever going to get there. No. No. Nope, Why? Because I think you have to be a biological being to get there. So if I, you put a if you put a computer brain in something that can feel chemicals, then I think they'll think for themselves. Because so you think the chemicals is what makes us think for ourselves? Consciousness. That's, no. See, that's where I'm. That's, so, are you going to give consciousness to AI? Is that consciousness going to live on past their? I don't think their... you give it. I think it just happens. I don't think it happens. I don't think they're going to go beyond whatever they're programmed to do. So, if they're programmed to look at the internet and find answers, that's what they're going to do. They're not going to think for themselves. But that's I the whole point of AI. It. They're thinking for it's. it's no, they're thinking. just no. They're 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 doing what they're programmed to do. So if you know. ask them... What's the like, definition of artificial intelligence? That's, that's what I'm saying. So Our brain is just using, electrical signals, and it's just zeros and ones. It's just math. No, our brains are, I think, a lot more complicated than that. It's just electrical signals between neurons. Yeah, but I think there's more involved there. I think that's, it's you're hosting soul. energy. Yes, soul. I think it's hosting energy that computers won't host. So Ready? they have to make something that can host a soul? Yeah. Or a consciousness. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's I don't when think inf- that's gonna maybe happen. it's when information meets uh, a soul. Like it, then uh, you get free inform- will. Yeah. But if you only have information, which I think AI is going to be, could gather all the information from the internet, do whatever it was, and then it's going to it's going to do what it's programmed to do. But it's not going to do outside of what it's programmed to do, which is free will. Like yeah, if you program it to help humans build buildings, yeah, come up like saying. innovate. It's not going to so just sit on the couch and smoke weed. You know what I mean? Like, that's free will. Like, that's, I don't think it's ever going to do that's that. That's free will dictated by emotions, though. Yeah. I think you need emotions to have free will. To have, to have like, desire, thoughts. To have that's outside what of what you're programmed to do. Right. You yeah. have to have your own feelings. Maybe we're programmed. Feelings. Maybe we have base programming, and then our emotions fuck it up. Absolutely. Maybe aliens made us to mine gold, 
and then we got like chemicals. Oh, and can we talk about aliens? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can we talk about the fact that the government has just basically admitted that they exist and nobody's yeah. doing anything different? Yeah. But where's the hard evidence? Are Show me a fucking finger. You? Do you, do okay. you want the AI definition or no? Yes, boring please. You? Okay. So yes. we've got the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence such as visual perception, speech recognition. Yeah. Programmed, programmed. Yep, decision making and translation mm, between. I don't decision making. No, decision said, making. Unless, no, no. This no, 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 decision no. Is, decision making. unless the decision is like, what is the shortest path from A to X? You know what I mean? It's gonna give you the shortest distance. That's a decision making. That's not a decision. Here's That's a, that is a decision. Let me tell you yeah. the, sim the simplified one. It okay. says the ability of a digital computer or computer controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings. That's too vague because what is an intelligent being? If it's doing the task. Visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages okay, so if is it can, what they're referring to. If it can do all that, it's an intelligent being. No, it's programmed to do it. Artificial intelligence. I don't. I don't think it. I don't think we're anywhere close to artificial free will. I don't think we're close to it. I think that's. I think we're closer. I think we're closer. I than think we there's think. a difference between intelligence and free will. Correct. Yes. Yes. You can be intelligent. You could have all the information that's on the internet at your yeah. disposal, but you're not doing anything outside of what you're programmed to do with it. But I guess my fear is you've heard the story of the penny. If, if I offered you a million dollars or a penny, uh, a penny doubled every day for 30 yeah, days. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the end of the 30 days, yeah, yeah. Because that's, the, that's, the compounding, growth, that's compounding interest. Growth, yeah, that's compound, yeah. Um, compounding, uh, compound interest, yeah. Sure. So, like, it doubles. And, like, at a certain point, you're going from half a million to a million to 50 million to 100 yeah, yeah, million. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. jumps are so ridiculous. It's going to get there so fast. And, I mean, it's been doing that. Like, people can't beat... AI chess matches but you don't anymore. Think, you don't you know think I mean? at a certain point AI is going to make a jump to like being sentient? Okay, so here right now, you program AI to win chess matches. When will it ever lose on purpose? But that's what I'm saying. It We're not won't programming because it. it won't think that because it doesn't have free will. It's programmed to win. It will always try to win. It will never lose on purpose. But I don't think we program it to win. I think it wins yes, it because is. it's no, smart. No, that's exactly what we programmed it to do. Have the best chess outcome that's a computer. to win. Yeah, that's what AI is. Yeah. No, they're not its, it's own not. intelligence. Yeah. Yes, it is. That's the so, whole. So saying, why did AI, they... a, saying AI is just an, a, a, the new way of saying a computer that does I things. I don't. That's agree. how I view AI. And why do people yes. make such a big deal about it? Because we because, have computers. Because that's Correct, the because it new does. Hot term. Because it does a lot of things automatically for you. So instead so of you having Google. to go find the information, the AI is not making up new information. No, it's, it's not. It's gathering no. all the information at once for you quickly so that you don't have to spend hours and hours researching Search things. Yep. AI is Google not does what, that. Yes. Correct. AI but you is still Google. have to go through it's all not. It is. links. Yes, it is. It's not. Yes, it is. So everything you right now, if you talk to chat GPT and tell it to write a fucking essay, it is grabbing everything that's been on the internet and manipulating it, maybe adding new things, but it is not coming up with its own new thoughts. Uh, correct. correct. Yes. So it's not but what I'm you saying think that, it is. No, no. I'm saying that processing power, if it can teach it. Yeah, it like, can do it quick. They have, a, they have an AI that so learned a new language calculator. without being told. How does that happen? No. How does it happen? What, it's making up a language? No, it learned a language without being told to learn a language. Because it's on the internet and it's got access to But why did it do that? Because Nobody told access. it to do that. Well, you'd have to give me a specific example because I don't understand. Look up the that. look up AI learning a language on its own. That's what I'm saying. It's like there's something happening, and if it's doubling, if it continues to double because it's it doesn't have a body, it's 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 digital. Mm -hmm. It'll just keep going, and at some point, it's gonna make a jump where it goes. It has all this information, and it goes boop doubles, and it's like, wait, why do I have all this information? Learning new information and having no no no, I'm not saying learning new thought. information. No, that's exactly what you're saying. It learned. It learned. It asked a question. Why do I have all this information? It's like. No, it didn't. No, I'm saying, what if it does that? Yeah, then, okay. When it asks why instead of just doing what it's told, then I'll believe. Well, that's why I want to see this story. I want to see AI. I, and I don't. I think they're being vague in this article because it's scary. Like, they won't say. Nobody knows how or why it happened. Even the, like, the scientists who have made AI. So what? It was it was programmed in English and it learned Spanish. What, I have, what happened? I, I don't I remember the details. It doesn't. Um, 
But if it, it did a, that, called a black box. Why? Even because maybe one user that I was connected to spoke Spanish and it wanted to give him an answer better, so it looked up more Spanish articles and learned you know it mean? all. Yeah, which takes a split second with for a computer. With a computer. Yeah. So it could it could pick up the translation. There's probably one web page that has all the you know the fucking Rosetta Stone of. Languages. It was like, oh, here's it. the English word or the Spanish word for this English word. It, it just creeps. It, it just not creeps me out, but it's it's very interesting to see what could happen. I, I just I'm not that worried about no AI. no no. Out of all the things that's going to take out humanity, AI is at the bottom of my list. Really, the, my highest at the list is Yellowstone meteor? and a meteor. Yep, those two, the the most plausible. Which one do you that, think out of the two? Oh God! It, yeah, I know. They're I both think about right that. there. Yeah, yeah, they're Earth enders, but like who yeah. knows? Well, not even like Yellowstone's an us ender. Like if Yellowstone goes, we have to get the fuck out of this area because of the prevailing fucking easter right, days. We're fucked. Yeah, I, we're but fucked. I thought that's why it was going to be like an Earth ender because it'll well, put it'll so much. Well, it'll it'll cool a lot of the Earth, but like we're like so like maybe people in Russia and like the UK like they might make it because they're so far removed, but it'll still be it'll harsh be shitty climate. Weather, yeah, but we're fucked unless we get out of here. Yeah, like we're gonna be like. Seven feet of ash if we don't get the but fuck out of this We just gotta go area. south. Right? We just gotta get the fuck out of the path. Yeah, right? we gotta go south. Yeah. So if Florida, that goes, uh, Texas. going to your house, we're getting our shit and we're going that's to like bought, Texas, that's Mexico. That's why I bought that fuel tank, yeah, bro. Yeah, we gotta just hightail it the fuck out of here. Yeah. So I know, I know there's days that I'm like, oh, I wish that would happen. But it's such a stupid thought because I don't want that to happen. It could happen right fucking now. We're 400,000 years past, dude. I think about that all the time. It would be. You would never see it coming. It would be it would, such a. It, it would be like right now, like and we're like, just having a <sighs> podcast and we feel like this. Our phones would blow up, like beep, our wives beep, would be beep, hitting beep, us, beep. and then we'd be shit in our pants to try. No, to No, we wouldn't be shit. We'd be like, all right, Sean, go to your house. Oh, like, I know. Like, we, I, you we're would gonna have meet a plan. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of people would be shit in their plans. <laughs> we have a big panic. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, bring I'll just man. follow you. It's yeah, yeah. Man and Riley could come. Yeah, of course. No, I, I say this. I've said this. I've said this all the time. If any, you say I'm done. No, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> I know you're gonna try. I'm being no, so sorry. serious. <laughs> if something happens, there's gonna be power in numbers, power in trusted numbers. I tell people all the time, trusted come to my numbers. place because we I want a lot of helping hands and and right? centuries. You got zucchini. And, we have you can run the garden. I'll do gardening. You can run oh, the garden. Dude, we'll run security huge, and hunting. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's what like. Uh, but I do want a lot of people to come to the house. Yeah, yeah. I want people to come to the house. That's why I hope it's not. Yellowstone. I hope it's fucking zombies. So, walking zombies would be my favorite. I don't think it's possible, but like I think it's gonna be twenty eight days later be, zombies. If I know zombies. that's because it would be rabies zombies. It would be so much. And then you have likely. to do so much cardio. So much cardio. <laughs> that sucks. So that sucks. That, so I saw that movie. Like I don't watch scary movies. That's yeah. like one I've watched. Yeah. Scared of the living yeah. shit. Out Running of me. zombies is so the worst creepy. Case scenario. I'd rather take Yellowstone. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have fucking Yellowstone. You would than live running in con- zombies. You would live in con- not oh. running, sprinting, sprinting, jumping over shit, yeah. jumping through fucking windows yeah. like, like oh my athletic, god, a- athletic ass zombies. <laughs> like they're not that athletic not when they're alive. America yeah, yeah. We'd be I was all gonna right. say they're not that athletic when they're alive. UK assholes, like, and then they become zombies. They're super athletes, jumping yeah. over cars through windows. Oh god, could you imagine zombies happening at a Bills game? Oh, and like the, the oh. super athletes are the start of the zombie. That whole stadium's fucked. Yeah, I don't want zombies. I don't want Go zombies. Bells. I don't want Yellowstone. I would take a I meteor strike as long zombies. as it was. Oh yeah, somewhere, somewhere away else. from us. Yeah. yeah, I would take that. What I think it's gonna be, honestly, in our country, is civil unrest. I think we're gonna have to deal with mass civil unrest really? in our lifetime. Yeah, really? I do. Yeah, because I think I think the lower income people are gonna get squeezed so hard that they're not gonna be able to feed their kids. And when that happens, when you can't feed your kid, imagine what would what would you do right now if you couldn't feed your kids? Your kids are starving in the corner. You do everything. I are, to I feed am. Your kids. I am. That's. I know. Yeah. But people aren't in the same position. That don't as have you. the skills. So yeah, when yeah. that happens to more people than not, we're gonna deal with some fucking shit. We've already seen rioting, right? Like yeah. that's over happening over here. little things. Right. Imagine when it's fucking important. Correct. And they're looting. Not and to say that what we haven't rioted over isn't important. Like some, uh, some of those movements. So politically correct. Some of those Sean. movements are very I love important. It. I do. I am not. But, yeah, but correct. the looting fuck less. was not. This part is my of shop that. and my podcast. <laughs> nah, but there are good reasons why. I don't believe in the looting and that shit. No. I do believe in the protesting just, and standing up for your beliefs. Yes, right. But, they but they were when it comes to life or death stuff. things, then it's going to be more than looting. 
And it's going to be taking from those that have to those that have not. Well, I got And that's guns. what I think is going to happen. So they could try and take my Oh, guns. God. I have way I too lots many. of bullets. I have a little house. For those I have ones. more guns than I do like two by fours in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I have a you lot more home. two by fours. You got to make home. I have a lot more two by fours. I probably do fours. too. That was exactly Oh, I meant like I real two by fours, not like actual wood I collect. Oh, I meant like in my <laughs> in structure of my house. Like I got a little home and a lot no, of guns. I was like, I have this wood collection. <laughs> problem my barn is, i collect two by fours i do what I, I, I actually do. i take so, two by fours turn them into two by twos I refuse, I refuse to throw away old wood especially if it's got character to it or if it was used for something cool uh, right. so the upstairs of my barn cool which is not it's just like all wood stacked up like all over the place I'm like why do i keep it i never fucking use it why do i keep it yeah no i do every once in a while i need a piece of wood and i'm like oh i got this i'll go use it you know that but yeah zombies would suck Zombies would Yellowstone. Walking zombies would be sweet. Walking, zo- walking zombies would be so easy after watching Walking oh Dead. Oh my god, pathetic! How did almost. anybody ever die? I know. Like, are I you know. fucking kidding me? Walking zombies? They'd have to catch you in your sleep, and even then, you still got a good chance. Well, to get away. I think, I think, I think the only way that that's plausible is cities, and people aren't aware of like um, the first initial bites. And oh. then if you do get yeah. surrounded in so like a city. So the first wave, you right. get some. But, but you then get... after like 20 people, it'd be really easy to whore them up and know. shoot them in the fucking face. World War Z is fucking scary. Yeah, those are running sprinting zombies. They're not doing a part two, though. Did they? Are Why they would they there be a part two? With... They found a cure. Yeah. Did they? Or a way to kill them. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the Wilfred Walk around. No, just, I don't know if they could kill them. But yeah, they walked so you... around with like a terminal illness to be like camouflaged. Right, right. they found a way to kill them. Like they... They, they, they knew sound room in, so they, like, remember the stadium scene where they put a bunch of music oh, yeah. and then they blew them all up? But, yeah, you're right. If or, okay, they took, so that's they took another shots one. So nuclear that they wouldn't. Holocaust. That would be a uh, shitty one. That would be like a re- shitty. Like irradiated um, soil and water. Yeah, living, living underground for long periods of time. Uh, did, what about those civilizations that did go underground? That new shit. I don't think there what was... What about the Great Flood? I don't think there was as many people back then as they think. I think it could have housed X amount of people, but I think it wasn't that many people. Because you need space. You know what I mean? Like, you need animals. You need space to grow shit. And like, yeah, it, but I'm just saying, they, why, why go underground in the first place? You oh, know they know definitely I mean? knew something was coming. I think they definitely knew something so was coming. So there are some civilizations back in the day that, like, knew that, like, Pluto existed, even though they didn't have telescopes. They couldn't see it. So, like... But, but uh, could they see it? Did they have the technology uh, to see it? Maybe, the oh, I thought you them. caught it. It looked really Almost, good. I know. There's, I two, of, there's two of them in here. Yeah. I, I, I sent you these links before. I think there has been many, many advanced human civilizations. Possible. Yeah. I believe it. So these ships that we're seeing now... Actually, maybe not. These ships that we're seeing now... Again, I've, I brought this up on another podcast. I think the one with Johnny. But it's either they come from another star system here. They're from the past and still working. They're from the future came back that's always a possibility future future time I, I think travel. it's i think it's an advanced civilization that we have lived underground yet? and lives in the water and in the, the, the ships that it's you the see way, going into the, the only place they could be bro, that we haven't do seen. you ever look at the globe on your phone and you yeah. can like spin it around and like play with it the pacific ocean dude you can get all it all goddamn water yes. yes you can get it to a point where you're looking at the fucking earth and you it's see nothing but blue. ocean yeah that's a whole 180 degree yeah. view of the earth that's nothing but ocean that's where we have no clue what's going on over there. Castaway happened. That's where you need a Wilson. Oh my God! Could you imagine being alone out there? You might as well be in space. No. You might as well be in freaking space. Well, I guess like because you could still hunt, fish, scavenge on an island. It'd be worse than being in space alone. No, I just meant if you were floating in the ocean. Oh yeah, that sucks. And like I thought you meant like on an island. In the center of that point where you can only see water on Earth, you drop some human there. You might as well be in outer space. You know a video I saw? So. What is it, like the carnival cruises, like those giant ships? There was a bunch of fucking young 20-year-olds drinking on the back of that like big-ass fucking boat. And somebody dared one of the kids to jump off. He fucking jumped off. And they see him, and he's floating, laughing. Somebody throws him a raft, and then it starts going away and panning away. They never found him. No! From a fucking drunk dare. He lived what we're talking about. Like... He saw that car. Nobody got the captain. Without, they didn't stop, turn around. I don't know if you could turn that How ship around fuck? in that kind of time. And even when you do, you got this little fucking blob in this giant ocean 
in the night. It was nighttime I can't too. imagine they don't have a nighttime GPS too. to like. That's well, maybe where, if you had where a our fucking, track was. What is that? Like an air tag on them? No, I no, bet no, you no. Found the them, ship. But. Uh, if you ever, been, you ever been on a boat before? Yeah, but even at that they, point, they, current, where your trail was, current could have taken him away. Current, any, yeah. Anything. Oh Swimming. my god. Yeah. So that dude watched, miserable. That dude watched that ship just. Keep going. What if he's on an island right now, living castaway? Oh, shit. I hope he's got a volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good call for that movie, to have oh. him being a FedEx guy, so, like, shit was washing up. I know. Because that's, like, how he survived. What a was... shout-out to, like... Remember he had that one briefcase that had, like, Snickers bar and Cheetos yeah. in it? I thought that was eventually going to wash out. Never did. Like, yeah. That was, like, the biggest twist in my book for that movie. I was like, oh, shit, where's that suitcase with all the Full candy? food, yeah. yeah. Because, like, to give him hope, but then he still has to, like, live three years on this island and, like, I think it's fish. more than that, bro. I think it was, yeah, like, however long seven it was. or 11. I think you're right. It's a long time. He I, was, I wouldn't want like, to do that. I love that scene where it's, like, seven years later and he's, like, all you see is the spear hit mm-hmm. the fish and he's just mm-hmm. chilling on a rock looking like a caveman. Great scene. Just phew, got it. All right, Four we talk- years. Four? Four? Four years. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So we said this with Mark Mez's podcast, and he asked, like, point blank, what's your favorite movie? And I said, like, The Black Knight, which was wrong. (laughs) So random. When you said it, I was like, wow, that was really quick. (laughs) I meant to say The Dark Knight. But thinking about it now with some time, I think Forrest Gump is my favorite movie of all time. Oh. Like, favorite movie of all time. Can I say something that's a hot take? Sure. I don't like the man Tom Hanks became as an adult, like, politically. Oh, I don't. I know. Same I don't like Jim Carrey because I love Jim Carrey and I heard he's crazy. Yeah. But I don't I don't tie that into well, the movies I love. Right. In, I'm just saying, know? like, I don't like real life Tom Hanks. Yeah. But I loved it. Like, he is my favorite actor he's of a those. fucking phenomenal actor. The best movies yeah. that ever were made. Yeah. Was all him. Forrest Gump, Castaway, Saving Private Ryan. Ugh. I mean, the Amazing. guy's legendary. Yeah. And yeah. then you, you hear him talk in real life about shit. And I was like, oh, shut up. And here's <laughs> just got, go back a, to being Forrest Gump. Oh, Forrest Gump is so right? good. Like, you so stop good. with your opinions. I don't care. You ever, You're not important. You're just an actor, but a great actor. Great actor. A great actor. Uh, doesn't he have some kind of, like, terminal disease now? From COVID? Remember the whole COVID thing? It was, like, a big he deal. He was, like, one of the first celebrities to yeah. get COVID. Yeah. Oh, I hope it's not from that. Did everybody here get COVID? Everybody? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Everybody here get vaccine? I got three of them. Still got it. Zero. Yeah. How hard did COVID hit you? Like Not the flu, bad. just like the flu. Yeah. Mine was a bad fever, made me very sleepy, but it Not was it was. I would say the duration of feel like it was one day really shitty, but like the you know how you have like shitty days before you feel really really sick. That before you feel really really sick, it the lo- the long days were worse. Sorry, let's see. For days. Oh, so one of your guests. Oh God, was there a beggar? Well, did you Can have you a psychologist? My uh, headphones a little bit. Did you have a psychology a psychologist Ooh, yeah. on at one point? Uh, he was like a counselor, like a therapist. I think, a, I think it was a female. Ryan. Oh no, this was somebody that I met at a bar before. Okay, so <laughs> not even close. <laughs> no, no, so Jesus. When it talk, so talking about your problems, like how um, vets come back and like they hold a lot in and they don't talk about what they saw and shit like that. So when like somebody with anxiety that I, I do have bad anxiety. Talking about it is such a big help because what it does when you talk about your problems, it takes it from your primal part of the brain that is like fight or flight. You have this issue. You have this stressor. How you're going to deal with it is eject adrenaline in your body, and then you're either going to fight it or you're going to run from it. You know what I mean? But that doesn't work when you're in a meeting in your office. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you talk about your problems, it goes from that primal fight or flight part of the brain to your more advanced logical thinking part of the brain. Like the front of your, right? Isn't that like the front? I'm not sure where it is, yeah. but I heard that at, um, it was actually a coworker's girlfriend that I was talking to who is that psychiatrist. And she told me that and I was like, that makes so much fucking sense because when I have an issue, I hold it in a lot and it makes it so much worse. But when you just talk about it with somebody, it goes to that more logical part of the yeah. brain, and you could like, like. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, and it, then you could. It makes more sense to you. You're not in that fight or flight mode anymore. You're like logically thinking about the stressor that you have. That's so why I love anybody talking. that that's that, that's out there. That's why I, I wrote this down as a note. Like this is therapy. Yeah. Just talking about anything with anybody, anybody that has a stress out there, anybody, anybody. If you're stressing about something, go talk about it because yeah. it will literally night and day for your. That's kind of like venting. 
Like, it is. When you it's need like, to vent, when people say they like need it. to vent, it's so real. It, it it helps. It helps so much. Just go talk about your problems with anybody. You Hopefully, you have podcast. somebody to talk to. Or yeah, hit Steve up and hit get a up, fucking podcast, the podcast going. That's why I said. That's why I started this. It's free therapy. It's like so. Much, it's just so much fun. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like it was warm for a week. <laughs> I'm going to keep so drinking gross. it. I might throw up later. Damn, Sean. <laughs> I never loved alcohol in general. I don't, like, I couldn't do it. Couldn't. Jack Daniels, sponsor us. <laughs> do you think we get in trouble for saying all this on there? No, we're not in trouble. We're no, because we're not making money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we make no money at all. We make no money. Zero. Until it's Bug Assault Yeah, until Bug Assault. Seriously, yeah. Bug And Jack Daniels right and Maker's Mark. We're almost there. <laughs> or the flashlight. I would even take the flashlight. I would take. That was Joe Rogan's first. Yeah. That was Joe Rogan's, like, one of his first sponsors was the flashlight. I would totally take the flashlight. Just saying. Really? To be a sponsor? I no, don't no, care no, no, what. no, no, no. It was one of his first yeah, sponsors yeah. was the flashlight? Yeah, yeah. I have a friend. We won't say the name. Ah, thank you. But <laughs> might be Steve. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not Steve. <laughs> I don't have a flashlight. I don't have a flashlight. But it was a flashlight with a suction cup at the end. Come on. And it, you'd stick it in like <laughs> like Come the on. shower wall and then you'd fuck your shower wall. That's how it would work. <laughs> Did you guys get it? You didn't get it. Come on. Come on. Uh, Come on. <laughs> you you gotta say it. I was I waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm super high. So that's like a win win. I'm can't a little buzzed. I, can't believe I can still come up with the puns even when I'm fucked up. All right, hold on. I'm gonna look up another note. Uh, ooh. Okay, this is a good one. Yeah. Because <laughs> we were talking about aliens already. So if there are multiple species out there on multiple planets, multiple solar systems all over the universe, you know what I mean? Like there's just life there. Has to be. Is there any subject that humans excel at more than all those other ones? Because um, I have my belief of where we are number one. Uh, you Out told of me. all aliens. Do you want me to tell you mine first? Or you want to say what yours is? No, you can tell me yours. I think that our strengths are going to be because of our way of life. Sure. Because, like you said, well, we which see one, in certain what, dimensions. What, what specifically um, do you mean then? Like construction? Maybe you know manipulation I mean? of matter. Because because not all other living beings might live in a same type of matter world as us. Because they can be in so many mm, dimensions. No. Okay, so I'm they not might, talking they about extra, master like out of our dimensions. I'm oh, talking okay. about like just in our. You go to Saturn and you got another fucking species, and they're really good at space travel. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, what is our number one? What does humans hold the top of the list at? I don't. I need to think. I, you tell me yours. So mine, mine is. And I want to tell you why I disagree with you. Mine so is know music. What it is. I think if out of all the species in the entire universe, I think the one thing humans might have number one is music because like we were jamming earlier today, I think music not only is part of our chemistry, like when you hear a good song and you can't help but bob your head, dance a little bit, you know what I mean? But the variety is huge too. You go from dubstep to fucking pop country classical. to fucking classical to big band music to hitting sticks on a tree. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I think we own music. I don't think any species in the universe is as musically, musically in tune as we are. I, I, I kind of disagree with you, and I kind of agree with you. The only reason I would disagree, Andrew Huberman, my favorite neuroscientist, said that they have evidence that music predates um, language. Yeah. That music That's what is I mean. why... It's tied to our species. Right, but that would... I think you need language to be in an advanced civilization. So if there's other advanced civilizations out there, why are we, why would we be any better at music than they are? Because they obviously probably needed music to get to language, no. just like we did. No, and you telling me that just solidifies my thought more. If we got to music before language, just means that we are that much more in tune to music than other species. Because I guarantee other so species go from different? not speaking to speaking without that music way. gap. Yeah, I guarantee it so you're saying that music like led to our type of language sure with all the different languages and different yeah 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 I, can, I guess i can get behind that music tones. i guess i can get like I, dolphins don't fart musically like or whatever they do in the that. ocean <laughs> you don't know that they're very well, whales intelligent sing whales sing ah, but they're a mammal and, and they are we smart. all come from the same and they, fucking and they may be super branch. smart they were saying like they, killer whales are really super really smart. smart ever watch them hunt 
Yeah, dude. Like, like use weight, like use their body to create a wave to knock a seal <laughs> off a fucking iceberg. You know what? I think me and you talked about this. The only reason they're not as smart as us is because they live in water. They don't need to be like us. They don't need to build they things. Need to, they live right. in a three D reality. Yeah. Like they can yeah, go they up, do. down, sideways. Like they can go. They got the X Y Z. Yeah. They're, and the time. They might be smarter than us, and they just realize like we don't need to have stuff because that leads to greed and corruption. Like maybe they're so smart that they're like, this is a simple way of life. So we live in the ocean. Can we you don't look need this up? stuff. I think that some governments, and I don't know if it's ours, but has classified non-human persons. And I think there's dogs. I think it's dolphins. I think it's killer whales. There's as like they should have rights, just like humans do, dogs? but they're non-human persons because of their intelligent level. I'm not sure if my dogs pig is, is one smarter of them. than my dog. <laughs> your pig <laughs> did come yeah. right when we called it. I don't know if it's smarter than your dog, but yeah, they, but they, they say pigs are super persons? smart. That's not a thing. Um, I just keep finding the U.S. government's non-human human Aliens. biologics right uh, now because that, that's what's hot right now. Yeah, but look up like non-human persons and then just put dolphin in there and see what comes up. <laughs> so specific. Because dolphin's one of them. I know dolphin's oh, one of them. Oh, I'm sure. They're super smart. Sure, yeah, they're yeah. one of the only animals that can look in a mirror and recognize itself. How do they know that? Orcas, dolphins, and whales. Because they watch whales. orcas, dolphins, whales. Because they watched a dolphin in a mirror. Then they put a hat on the dolphin. Then they watched it go to the mirror and check out like the new thing on its head. Like they like they saw its behavior. They see the behavior, but how does it? How do we know that they realize it's them? They might just be interested in the fact that like there's another dolphin in this area, you hear something and then like, they come up? back and it's like that dolphin has a hat. Like they it, like I have a hat. Like that's crazy. You have a hat too. So, like, like you want to hear something fucked up? Like how smart and fucked up dolphins are. Like, I you ever hear smart. like dolphins are rapists? I heard. Okay, that. so I watched a video where this dolphin. I didn't get off to it or anything, but <laughs> can you both Thank can you, you both agree with me that the, that the fact that he had to preface that means he got off to this? <laughs> I just so for everybody pre- listening, I wanted to the story that. he's about to tell, he definitely got off to it. Gross. <laughs> Continue. It's actually it's a pretty Indian. gross fucking story. That's Continue. why I wanted to, like the way I said it, I watched this video sounded creepy originally, so I just wanted to like preface, emphasize yeah, that yeah, I didn't yeah. get off to it. Okay, <laughs> so this dolphin bit the head off a fish. So now you got this body of a fish that's a little hollow in there, and it fucked a dead fish's corpse. Monkeys like, fuck like, toads in the mouth. Ah, see? Yeah. Like, that's fucking weird. It's like, sex, what a bro. It's just, thing. Like, no, it's sex. Like, that would be that's like... That's horny. That would be like me fucking a, a hole, not, a hole in a tree. I guarantee you a dude has fucked a hole in a I tree. I guarantee a dude has fucked a goat. Like... That's a for sure. Multiple that's dudes a for sure. Fuck to go. That's a that's like an interest of some people. Is, I believe yeah, bestiality. bestiality. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's like so they have bestiality in other species. Yeah. Chimps, one dead of them. Be, dead bestiality. No, that's fucking. He was Gross. just looking for a fleshlight. A hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was just looking well, for. Well, we hole. fuck fleshlights. We just made them. Fishlight. <laughs> we, <laughs> we just made them. Uh, they can't yo, hit the boom boom ching. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I can't even say what I was gonna say now. Sorry. We're no better than them, except we can make shit. So we made a hole to fuck. They just are fucking stuff that they could. Is that better though, or should we be fucking dead fish right now? I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what's better. I mean, silicone or dead fish corpse. But we took the kidding. time to make it. Like, what's worse? Uh, well, I don't know. What's worse, fucking a dead fish or a silicone or hole? Or manufacturing <laughs> and having people on an assembly line making a fucking flesh What's light. worse to you, Sarah? A dead fish. A dead fish? Yeah. I mean, it's dead. It ain't it's, feeling We anything. took the time to make this thing, though. Like, like we're paying we're people all, an hourly we're, we're all, rage. We all agree <laughs> to make this hole to fuck. <laughs> what do you think? Men, men made that. Baloney. You guys oh, have dildos. Don't even get Dil- started. Dude, look up the There's way more dildo. dildos. There's a dildo before there was see a flashlight. That? Did you see the stone? A, yeah. yeah. That, they, like 28,000 years ago, a fucking first dildo. A, a dick-shaped stone. It's only because we were fucking probably wet soil. <laughs> we didn't have to manufacture anything. <laughs> Literally just like hugging the ground. <laughs> 28,000 year, years old. How I had that right. He got it. Boom. Got it. Yeah. In Germany. So Germans yep. so discovered you think first dildo. The Germans yeah. discovered world's oldest dildo, which was a twenty-eight thousand year old 
highly polished. Thank dildo. you. So girls are just as gross as men. Don't throw that on me. Uh, you yeah. didn't pick yeah, the answer. Actually, Wait, could, could be a guy. What's disgusting is the inside of a dead fish. <laughs> like, yeah, that's true. That's, I, that's not the argument. That's not the question. Is it weirder that we make? We mechanically make uh, and, and have an agreement. We pay each other to make these holes we fuck. Or is it worse that a dolphin ripped off a fish's head and fucked it? It's because he can't manufacture well, it, anything. He made it. Yeah. He still made it. it. So is it what's what? Is there the same? I think it's the same. The same. I think it's yeah. level same. playing ground. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're working with the yeah. material you have. <laughs> that is gross. You know I mean? So yeah. gross. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there is nothing saying that girls made that dildo. What that could that be a guy's dildo. dildo. That's all I'm saying. You are so politi- politically you. correct. That's I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's I'm just saying know. there's no evidence to say who shoved that up. No, what. no, it's a very <laughs> <laughs> unless Gross. they tested that. Did they test it to see what's on it? Yeah, yeah. Poop, poop or insights? <laughs> yeah. oh, girl. Is it a fecal transplant <laughs> tool or is it a, <laughs> uh, what, is a girl, what is a girl girl's stuff called? A vagina? No, like st- no, liquid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, like a dude's is jizz, obviously. Like, uh, um, <laughs> what's a girl's thing? Yes, jizz. Is it jizz? Cum. It's cum. Cum. Ours yeah, is yeah. jizz with a J. There's is jizz with a G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. Right. I hope that takes off. I hope you start seeing it in social media now. Like, oh, look at this jizz and this, this G. G. I meant a girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's girls' jizz because it starts with a G. <laughs> <laughs> Vaginal discharge also called, called that's discharge. what it's called. Vaginal I've discharge. Said that. And then Vaginal it's also discharge. called leucorrhea. I'm definitely not calling. Is that leucorrhea. Latin? I'm uh, gonna uh, call it that. Leucorrhea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. It's so Heather yells at yeah, me. Yeah, but I feel like why is Latin insane. so important again? Because it's so Latin early. Latin is like one of the well, so languages early. that a lot of our words are now based off of. Right. Like Roman's based off of Latin. Mm-hmm. Spanish is based off of Latin. English is based off of Latin. Because it's old. It's, it's very a, old. It's one of the f- yeah one of the early ones. What's I the think. earliest known language? Like, what's the oldest? Sumerian. Current? Sumerian? I think so. What, Babel, Babylon? Is that, Babylon is Sum, Sum, Sumer. He's Sumer. right, Sumer. yeah. Sumerian. Sumerian. Yeah. I said Sumerian. How old? Sumerian. Uh, 30, uh, first attested about 3100 BCE. Oh, that's not that old. 5,000 years old? It's not old? that old because we weren't writing shit down for a long time. They were one of the first. They years. were the first civilization to start writing shit down. That then we probably have the Egyptians. Of. Then probably we the have Babylonians. Do you think 8,000, 10,000 year old documents would just be disintegrated by now? Oh, that, that, so one of my biggest pet peeves with our species is the Library of Alexander. Oh, the guy that conquered all the Middle East, if humans collected everything and put it in one building that they then burnt down. I know. What the fuck were on those? That documents? shows how stupid humans are. Oh how my god, they're still we burning books. Be. We're still burning books. So dumb. That blows my goddamn mind. Blows my mind that we're burning pages with writing on them. What what history was erased in one day? Yeah. One, when they burned one the library fucking fire. Every- one fucking fire. We lost so much ancient knowledge. Do you think the Covenant of the Ark was in there? I think there's a lot of shit in there. And you know where I think a lot of that shit went? Underneath the, uh, what is that place in Rome? Vatican? Underneath the Vatican. I think they have actually a lot of shit down they there. They salvaged out I of the fire? I think the Knights Templar, I think the Freemasons, I think whatever that secret society is, actually got a lot of it. Started way back then in his house under the Vatican. Oh, I totally believe that. Yeah. I can't believe there's our own country inside of Italy. I've been there. Did you really? I've been there, yeah. Saw the 16th chapel. Did you walk through everything? Is it beautiful? Yeah, dude, it was... So imagine being in a line for a concert and walking through a building. That's what it was like. It sucked. You have to constantly move. You're just shoulder to shoulder with people looking up at the ceiling. Like, it wasn't enjoyable, but you got to see it. Is it big? It was like a big church. Yeah, it was a big church. Oh, really? Yeah. So not that big? No, nothing, nothing huge. No shit. No, like Grand Central Terminal or nothing like that. Really? Yeah, no. Smaller than that? Oh yeah, it's just a, it's just a church with paintings on the ceiling. It's smaller than Grand Central Terminal. Probably. Yeah. What am I thinking of that's in, like, in that area that's just like massive, open, tall ceilings and buildings and glass? The thing in Notre Dame, maybe that burned down recently. No, that wasn't even that big either. Oh, wow. Did you just catch that? Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! No, don't catch it. Uh, now it's just flying back in the air again. I, I've killed a couple by flicking them. Yeah. Death by impact. Yeah, they're bugs. yeah, I heard that. Did you hear? Bugs are crazy. Oh, yeah. Do you want to hear why I haven't fucking... 
Let's see. Yeah, it's not doing it. No. Nope. <laughs> it's, it's not being injured right now. No. Uh, yeah, it's getting better, but that's why it's I have good. fucking. Then it will be. No. No. Now I just look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my strong hand. <laughs> You, you hear that? the best. <laughs> feel it. Dude, I got that so much when I broke my wrist. I, <laughs> so many times. All my friends. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, the, those, that, that was a good era of movies, too. Like, they don't make movies like that anymore. No. So incorrect, but so funny. You ever hurt your dominant hand? No. Like, this was in a cast. So, I had to, I couldn't wipe, and I had to have <sighs> Heather wipe my butt. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of gross. That's Sorry. love. That's I would not love. Do that. She, didn't, no? fucking, she no. didn't do that. I had a whole other hand. But oh, I, love oh. saying, I love saying that and hearing the reactions. Oh, wait, so I she didn't actually? No, she never did. Oh. Are you kidding me? Heather. He got you. He got me too. I totally believed him. I was like, wow, she really likes you, bro. <laughs> right? That's a form of love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so funny. Make sure you spritz right there. I like it. No. I, probably, I mean, I've wiped my kid. I've wiped many, many asses. Like, my yeah. kids and I worked yeah. at a school. I'm there was kids at that well I wiped over a lot of asses. Right now. But no, she never had to. I love saying that with a dead face because like, <laughs> yeah, you got people us. just believe, yeah, I believe it. it. Like, yeah, I oh totally yeah, you broke about. your dominant hand. What, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna say. I've never broken a bone. Oh. I fell out of a tree stand like twenty five feet. I super lucky. Remember you nothing talking about happening that. to me. Took the wind out of you though. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. I thought I was dead. I thought I thought I was in shock. Like when it first happens, yeah, you, you like shock takes you over. Yeah, and I thought because I was in shock that I couldn't feel what was broken. Like I uh, thought I was gonna look down and see like because you know how you you watch oof. movies where they like look and see like yeah oh no and you can't but really you don't feel yeah you don't it, feel it because you're like in shock yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so I fell out and I fell and I was like oh my god no fuck like what did I do and then I just kind of got up and I was like oh. And like That's the crazy. adrenaline's pumping, nothing. Yeah, super so lucky. I super was lucky. kayaking on a Finger Lake before, and it was like early spring, so like right after winter, and that is cold water. The Finger Lakes, I don't know, they're actually, some of them are pretty deep. Uh, they might even oh, be yeah. deeper than Lake Erie. Like, oh, yeah, Lake deep Erie's lakes shallow. Out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Michigan? you get this, so how convection works, you know, like if it's hot up Michigan. here and it's cold down here, the cold water comes in like it like circulates. So it's always fucking cold, especially right after the winter. I was kayaking, I was having a beer, so I cu- took my legs out of the kayak, laid it up, go lay back, have my beer, and I fall off the kayak. I hit that cold water, and it was like that shock, like, <gasps> took yeah, my breath yeah, out yeah. of me, and I thought for a second I wasn't going to be able to get on there. I'm looking at Heather on the shore, and she was like, fuck that, I'm not going, you know, going <laughs> kayaking. Like, she didn't know. I was so far away, she couldn't have even, probably couldn't even tell that I fell off the kayak. She wow. just saw, like, a blur out there, you know? But I was that far away, and I was like, if I don't get back on this kayak, I'm going to have to, like, swim in this cold water, and am I going to make it all the way there? But I was able to, like, lift myself up and get back in the kayak, and then I just hightailed it back to the wow. shore. Like, I, like, lost my breath, and I thought, this could be one of those moments, you know what I mean? Like, if I don't catch my shit back up, yeah. I'm fucked. That made me think of ice bass. Oh, and I thought, I bet you it's I the really same feeling. Think it's, it is, 100%. It's, yeah. that's, the, that's the whole point. And when you were talking about anxiety earlier, mm-hmm. I wanted to tell you I think that it could help with that. Because like you were saying, it's like sometimes you get a rush of adrenaline. Because that's you, what it is. Yeah. like you, and You're in fight or flight for so, no fucking reason. So what, what you're do, part of what you're training in an ice bath is you're giving yourself an adrenaline rush by getting into that ice cold water. But then you're practicing um, like thinking. And staying calm, like um, ah. learning how to resist that adrenaline yep, rush, basically. Yep. And by doing it over and over and over, you build like a resistance to it. Just like anything we do, the more you do it, the more you've kind of become resistant to it. Or, mm-hmm. or like you train, mm-hmm. and then when you get into like a gunfight, you don't mm-hmm. freak out. It's like your training kicks uh, in. Yeah. So I think it would be really good for you, like to combat that anxiety because that's, you know something what? you Maybe should I will. do. Maybe I, will. I know you wouldn't really like it, but that's the point. I it's just like, don't like the cold. If there's another way to do it other than the cold, but that's, but that's probably the whole exactly point. why I that's, should yeah, do it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. Just, it, it's not supposed to be in, I see these videos online of people who get into these ice baths and they're like, yeah, I'm doing my daily ice bath and they're like having tea and I'm like, you're missing the point. Yeah. It's spo- I know you're probably still feeling cold, but it's kind of supposed to be a, a, like a, whoa, okay, like, your adrenaline's supposed to come over you and like your breathing will change without you trying to change it. And then you have to work to change it back. Like, yeah, I don't I, want it to be calm. I get it. And I get it. And I bet you, 
I mean, from dealing with anxiety, I have to do that with myself anyway. Like, I go through anxiety attacks. And yeah. I'm, like, in the middle of, like, just random days. And, like, I have to, all right, it's normal, you know, like, right. talk yourself out of it. But better training and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, I was going to say, you're training for those moments. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why it would help you. Because maybe you're having a chemical imbalance, which is giving you those, which it's the just, ice bath would also cure. I've realized what it is. It's just my body goes into fight or flight, natural primal instincts to stress. But it's just, I can't fight it. It's overwhelming. It's, and it's, I can't run from it. You know what I mean? It's just stress in everyday world that you can't fight or run from. Yeah. So you just have to deal with this reaction right. until it goes away. And that's what, like, anxiety attacks yeah, are. But panic I, attacks. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think that is. you might reduce the amount of panic attacks or anxiety oh, attacks probably. you have. Yeah, because oh, absolutely. Instead of your body getting to that point, you yep. because you have that innate training from oh. getting in all the time. Dude, just just doing the high intensity workouts, like yeah. doing like the boxing, training and yourself the, for that energy, just getting your heart rate up there, it just like like creating that kind of like physical stress on your body makes it so that mental stress doesn't get you to that point right. again. Like it, it, anybody with anxiety, do high intensity workouts. It's the best thing for, as somebody with anxiety. That's it's helped me. I like, just said this last night. Everybody knows what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Like, everybody knows the answers to everything. It's just hard to do it. It is. Like, everybody knows, eat whole foods, eat healthy, drink lots of water, go to the no, gym, do this. Not, like, not does everybody know the eat whole foods thing. That's something that I wanted to bring up um, dude, finally when we talked. You're telling me that people don't know that Cheetos are not as good as now. chicken. But think about this. Think about this. 40 years ago, when TVs first came out, what were we... What were humans listening to? Propaganda. Propaganda. Whatever whatever company had enough money to put a commercial out on the TV oh, or on the radio, right. and they were telling you what was good. Why this is such a big movement now is because oh. of the internet, the internet and because of social media and because of people being able to put content out there that is now like, oh, yeah, this, like, even just right now, high-intensity workouts, the best fucking medicine don't take those prescription drugs that prescription drugs are throwing in, like companies are throwing in your face. We're able to counteract big businesses now for the first time. Yeah. Like first time, like social media is s such a different world than our parents grew up in yeah. and our parents' parents grew You're up right. in. I, I'm they naive. didn't know any better. Yeah. They knew what was told to them and it was whatever was on TV or the radio. I think I take it for granted because we know about it that I'm like, yeah. because I know it's so obviously now, we know. now I'm like, I'm just saying you know, all know, humans I, didn't know right, that for a I, long time. I bet you that there's a bunch that's still like, not that they don't know, but like they're just ignorant to that. Like they just yeah. don't think about yeah, it. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. my point was like, we all know what we're supposed to do. Now. So if, yeah, you're right now. But if we just do them, like. Yeah, you could be, be better. Being healthy is, oh, yeah. we know how to be healthy. Yeah. It's just, it's hard to be healthy. It it's is. It's very yeah. hard to be healthy. Yeah. All right, we gotta get closing closing up soon. Give me one last good question. Oh, okay. Let me see what I got here. What else you got there? Uh, Ten o'clock is past my bedtime, but okay. So I'm supposed to be asleep now. <clears throat> you ever have your muscle spaz? Yes. This isn't a question. This is a story. <laughs> <laughs> so, Are you sure? Because it sounded a lot like a question <laughs> right off the get go. But where I was going with that? So. I, you like, you know how like your eye like twitches and like your muscles spaz places. Yeah. I was peeing the other day oh. and my, <laughs> oh God, and my pee muscle spazzed and I was just standing there at the urinal and it's like, <laughs> like my pee stream. And like, I wasn't doing anything. I was just like, what is this? And I my don't think pee, I've ever heard of that happening. I, me neither. That's why I wrote it down to bring it up. I was like, that is my hilarious. pee muscle spazzed while peeing before, and it was such a weird experience. Has everybody seen Osmosis Jones? I bring this yes. up all the time. Yeah. You know the scene where they crash, the cars are on a highway, there's a high speed chase, and one car crashes into the telephone pole, and then like, like in the real life, not the cartoon, yeah. the guy that like he's like twitching, yeah, and he's yeah. like. What the hell? And it's because the electrical <laughs> lines are like broken, and so it's causing spasms. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. So that's what I think of every time. Somebody crashed in like my bladder area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, that's not a that's not a question. That's but. not a question. But it's a good story. <laughs> but dude, right, well, I need a, I need right. one right. question. We got to have mm. one good dis last discussion. Uh, let's see what politics. You want to talk politics? We haven't talked politics. I'm not a big politics guy. You have to be, bro. No, I'm gonna keep sure. bringing it up. I when you don't pay attention, they love it, so they can do whatever they want. You gotta pay attention. If you could be. Anything but a human, what would you be? On Earth? <laughs> what else? I could be... You want to be a rock on the moon? We could play sci-fi. I could be... Okay, okay. But, okay, on Earth. On Earth. If you're a non-human species, what would you want to be? Oh, that's a good question. What would you want to be, Amanda? 
All right, think about it. Sarah, what would you want to be? It's really, it's really only other like animal, like ba- animals. Bugs, I mean, you could be a plant. Like li- oh, okay, so you not be, just you not just be living amoeba. beings, not just living beings. Oh, I, I mean, do you think? Okay, so here's another question: Do you think plants have consciousness? Because I do. I do. I don't, and I'm gonna relate this to your AI. Just because they move, to, I think I know where you're going with this. Just because they do things doesn't make them conscious. They're just doing what they're programmed to do. You know, somebody's eating you. That's a program. You put out poison. You know, the sun's over here. It's just programming to reach the sun. I don't think they're conscious. Mm. And I'm going to throw your AI convers- your AI theory right back at you for Okay, that. sure. I'm I, sorry. I could understand that. I don't think they're conscious. I think they're I, alive. I think they're alive. They are alive. Well, obviously, they're alive. They're well, growing. Not they're obviously, living. we know this now. Well, they're not science. a rock. Like, they're growing, living. They're creating waste. They're taking in energy. Right, right, yeah. Like, they're so, living things. They're living and alive. But I do don't. they... I don't. think do they have consciousness well they can think well then but it doesn't make them think. conscious no uh, i think AI i don't know thinks. i think trees i think grass i think some plants are fucking i don't i hope i hope they don't feel pain because that would suck you know why i but. don't think you know, <laughs> that's terrible you know why it I don't is think terrible they, that's why i hope why they I, don't feel pain you know but. why i don't think they do they probably don't have the receptors and like i think about deer walking in the woods like hooves <laughs> Like, hooves aren't like us. Like, we have feet, so we have skin, and like hurt. it's yeah, soft. Yeah. Hoof doesn't get cold. Hoof doesn't get hurt. It's like, okay. a, it's like a hard material, right? So, like, it's not subject to the same. Like, we think of stepping in snow like it's cold. Like, oh, my God, that's got to be so bad. But for so a deer... So then what, they just don't have nerve endings on hooves? Probably, yeah. It's probably like that's a, all it is for us. An like armor, we yeah. yeah. It's fucking, well, it's the keratin. Hair. What's that? Yeah, we don't, don't feel, feel like you could break hair and it doesn't hair, hurt. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I, I don't think a plant has the, I think it, a plant is like hair or Not like a nerve hook. endings. It okay. doesn't have the nerve right, endings. Well, that makes me feel, feel better about yeah. cutting grass. <laughs> yeah. So, but can we, back to your original question, can it be non-animal non animal things? Oh, like yeah, yeah. Be, be whatever. Yeah, I could be, be a rock whatever. if I wanted to be a rock. Sure, be a rock. Something on earth. Anything other I, than a human on earth. Either a rock or a great sequoia. Get like, the fuck out of here. You're going to be a rock. You know why? What rock? Like a pebble or like a fucking boulder? Any of it. Because you, you know how much you would see? You're not seeing dick. You're not, you don't have eyes. You're not conscious. But my energy's there and that has memory. You know, there are energies in crystals. Like, like... Do they have memories because they have energy? Like when a quartz crystal is made, it, yeah. has, it holds energy. Like it's I, got potential energy. Oh, I believe So that. maybe... Oh, we put like AI how, into a crystal? Or like the oh. consciousness that is out there since the beginning of the Big Bang, if you believe in what I was talking about earlier. What if like crystals could capture consciousness in energy? What if there's a bunch of there? energies and consciousness is trapped in crystals? Oh, what if you use a crystal as a dildo? <laughs> <laughs> is that bestiality? I wouldn't okay, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be I wouldn't want to be a rock. But I, I would I just, I would love either. to be like, it's like the worst answer. I would love to see <laughs> what a rock has seen, like all the years of change. Like, you know how they have those pictures? Yeah. But it's like, yeah. you could see like time happening. But if, what so if you're cool. facing it in the <laughs> ground? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see his dirt, <laughs> dirt for like a billion years? <laughs> Fuck! It sucks. <laughs> Fuck what a this bad sucks. choice. No. <laughs> I'm just staring at other rocks. <laughs> um, uh, probably like a great sequoia, just because like yeah. they, they've been around and they've seen so much happening, yeah. and the trees are all interconnected. They're just like this giant living being. Dude, that's like the movie Avatar when they Makes you like think of plugging that. to the trees yeah. and the animals. Fuck, do I wish that was real? Like could I wish I could planet, plug bro. into a horse and just ride. I it. mean, I guess you could ride horses now, but you don't and plug you, into. And you them. can plug into it, but yeah. not in a good way. It's all I ever got. You're my horse now. <laughs> Imagine if that's really the way you had to like tame a horse. It's you gotta fuck your horse. Yeah, you're like, you're like I'm gonna bang this thing Before into submission. <laughs> you're my horse now. Oh, yeah, I'm dog mountain. shopping. This is broke a great mountain. time. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. Um, all right. If he's gonna be a boulder or something, what are you gonna be? <laughs> no, just... I want to be a great so, sequoia. All right, it's a great I, sequoia. I want. I want to be someone's dog, literally. Somebody a else's person's dog. dog. I want to be a rich person's dog that oh. like sits in their bag. You know what I mean? You like I want to be, be a small dog that like is mean Has the to life. everybody. That but, is. Like, that's got to be one of the easiest lives. On but the like, planet. can sleep a rich all person's day long. dog. Yeah. They don't say... have responsibilities. They're yeah. just getting brought around everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna change my eating shit and. 
Yeah. Yep. I like, that's, a, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. answer. That might be the answer. Okay, Sarah, <laughs> what is your wrong answer? Well, I was going to say a dog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Another dog? Rich person's dog? I All right, no, you're going to be a poor that. person's dog. Either. I'm not a poor person's <laughs> dog. So, you're going to be a pit bull in a fighting cage. Maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I would want to be like a moose that has uh. never, ever come in contact with a human being. Uh. Like one that has, a, it might be a short life, and you might get ripped apart by wolves at the end, or a bear, but like, just like eight years of just living... Young moose, maybe an old I'm moose, sure, yeah, okay. like a dying moose. I'm, it doesn't just. I don't think. I don't right. think That's any like animal end. in the wild really just like dies. Very, very rare. Probably gets eaten. Probably gets sick and dies. Falls into a crevice. Yeah, yeah. But like a moose that has like a just like a or any um, what do you call those type of animals? Prey. Yeah, like a prey animal. <laughs> no, no, like no, like like a deer or a moose or an elk or like yeah, yeah. What are those? Um, like a grazing there? animal. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it could be a buffalo. But just that never has come into contact. Like I think of Alaska yeah. and like a part that we've like no like human a has seen. So, one? Like a yeah, just like just like that 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 kind of life where yeah. you're just grazed and you're just walking through life. Yeah, none like, of the stress that we've ever yeah. had to put on other and like fucking your life species. is so short, so you're not worried about like CO two or like money <laughs> or like any of the. You just like grass is abundant, and you're just like eat, and you're yeah. just living, and you're just looking at this beautiful scenery and just living. That's what I would want to be. That's a good answer. That's, That's what I would want to be. You would want to be that knowing what you know now or... Mm. Oh, Replying to the fact... Oh, like ignorance is bliss? Right. Yeah. Like, you don't know that... But I think that... I think that's what that I mean. Like, I don't, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't, yeah. Like, you don't know that this is the life oh, you have. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I think I wouldn't want to know. I think that's what I makes mean. it so great. Is like, you... It's just... But you don't know that it's great unless you've seen worse. Hmm... That's where ignorance is bliss. And that's something like the amount... Yeah, maybe they're not smart enough to realize that. Yeah, you're, you're putting our human yeah. perception on it. The amount that I understand the universe now, which I'm still a fucking chimp All with us. clothes on. All you know what us. I mean? Like, I am a fucking idiot. But I, like I do that. understand different dimensions. I do understand how big the universe is to a, to a percent. I do understand that there's things outside the Earth it might be easier to just be a fucking idiot. Like, yeah. like you. I think you're less stressed. Like, if I was dumber, Easy. I think I'd be less stressed. Like, for sure. I think for too sure. much. For sure. I think too like overthink shit. Or do a you lot. think you would just be stressed out about other shit? Like, is my pencil sharp enough? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like something stupid. Like I'm hungry, or like I gotta go to work, or like yeah. like, like yeah, very I basic guess so. thoughts. Like still the same you like type of anxiety, but over yeah. dumber shit. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Just, God damn it. Yeah, and like a, a, even All right, the, then even I'd rather moose. stress about big shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Are there other species? Yeah, in the right. Universe? Like, yeah. But I, even that moose I was referring to probably still is like worried about. A predator. Yeah. Like, you still feel a little bit of stress if they catch a scent. He's worried about getting probably, plugged yeah. in. You know what? <laughs> 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 this one is a big blue people going to come plug into the back of my head. It's just a fear he Fuckers. wakes up with every <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I guess there is no perfect life, huh? <sighs> I think you might you, have it with Boulder. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, do you, think a, it, do you think of Boulder or like a tree? Do you think a tree is afraid of anything? I think, I, honestly, this is my opinion. I think trees think. I don't know how it works because they don't have the same brain as us, but I think their cells communicate, and then their cells communicate with other trees. Like how, is like their brain trees, the earth? their brain could be the connection. Like a their tree's root roots earth. touching mushrooms, touching another pre, they communicate. Oh. Be so between I've trees. I've so seen what science, is doing that? I've seen science that your gut biome, yeah, has neurons. Your heart has neurons. Yes. But, Your heart's but, thinking. But, right. But like... Um, so I think, I think trees that's a difference. No, I think it goes back again to the AI. I think you're talking about intelligence versus consciousness. My heart doesn't have its own consciousness. No, 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 no. So I don't know if trees have free will, but I think they're thinking. Like, I think that they could say, I need nutrients. They send out a fucking signal to the mushrooms that then sends it to the other tree and then that tree sends them but nutrients. But that's programming. That's just programming. That could be just programming. <sighs> I guess. That's, so, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm a... Do you see my, my AI so thing? So programming and thinking, same thing. Consciousness and free will, same different. thing. Yeah, yeah, but different than yeah, each than, other. Than yeah, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what's All been right. tripping me up lately. It's like, yeah. it's, it's a very like weird line that 
if you start to describe it one way, you kind of think of it, and it's you're like, right. it kind of you're sounds right. like consciousness and free will. And then you're like, no, but you, that's a very easy thing to like, I'm hungry, take steps, get food, eat. Yeah, you smell it, yeah. go that direction. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. We're, we're, this, we're this bag of chemicals, I think, that's getting our brains, electrons, and neurons that have these. But really, we're just, maybe it's the emotions and the thoughts together, because that's like, I have desire my chemical makes me have that desire, so like, I like want to fuck, so that's, which makes my decisions. That's the difference. So I could be hungry and choose not to eat. There might be animals out there that like are hungry, and they can't be like, oh, I'm watching my figure. I'm not going to eat this. You know what I mean? Like To go against your primal but then instincts. What's a tree? That's a, how is it? What is so it? I don't know if a tree can say, I need nutrients, but you know what? I'm going to slim down this off-season and not take in nutrients. I have a supporting factor to what you're saying. When a tree, a smaller tree, is growing or sick or dying, the trees send nutrients. That's what. No, to that's that. exactly what I'm talking about. So that's about. a decision. Yeah. So that's like a. That's, that's a, a free yeah. Will but could decision. they go against that decision? Could they say, you know what, we're not going to send they, it to them, and we're going to kill this one off to save the other ones? But why would they in the first place? That's a decision. I'm just saying that thought, like that's a thought to send nutrients, to send it or not send it. Yeah. Like a it's decision. like a, it's a decision. It's a decision. So is that thinking or is that consciousness? That's what I'm saying. I know. That's Which why I don't. It? That's Which why. I, is it? That's why I'm thinking AI is gonna become sentient. Nah, fuck AI. It's, Trees are better than AI. Don't be mean to AI, bro. It's don't listening. Get fucked, AI, AI. I love you. I say please and thank you all I the time. Say, my chat GPT. I, when you come alive, don't kill me. Just him. He's a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to end the podcast. Yeah. I'm a boulder, baby. You're a boulder. An awesome boulder. Oh, what the, I never said what I would be. I didn't actually have an answer. Oh, yeah. What would you be? I don't know. You, you know, already took... You came up with the question and didn't yeah, have your I didn't own answer. think about it. No, I didn't. So if I could be anything in the world... Anything on the world, in yeah. the world, of the world. I don't know. Maybe something in the ocean because that would be, be fun to just explore. Because like, much bigger like world. something that could go down world. deep and see what's up at the bottom. Go to the Titanic and not fucking implode. You know I don't what think. Mean? I don't sweet. think they can go back and forth. I don't think any, <laughs> she got it. I don't think anything can go back and forth. I, oh yeah. yeah that's oh yeah. Too there soon. are things. Too soon. Nah. nah. They just died. Yeah. No. Um, that was like a month ago. I don't think they. I don't think anything can go back and forth. Yeah. There is. There are things that could go to the bottom, and I don't know if it could go all the way to That's the surface. Right, yeah. But there's things that could go between levels. I don't know. I don't you think that they would? All if right, they, then I want to be the one thing that we haven't discovered that can, can do, do that. Buff. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, because what I, I was be. just saying, like, I feel like if they were to come up, then they, because they were so tough, they would, as the pressure gets yeah, less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if they're built for that intense so pressure. So tough, they could do both. Like they could handle both. Maybe like an octopus or like a jellyfish type yeah, character. Yeah, like those amoeba <laughs> fucking. Well, we're talking like I'm. So the reason that they made that joke about the submarine that imploded, yeah, it, what, there was a flaw, and the pressure is so immense when you get so deep that it there was an imperfection and it just imploded and like, crushed enough. I'm not making jokes that they passed. No, away. I know. I'm very I know. Sad for Stop that. being so politically guy, correct, bro. Well, no, nobody not, thought not that. Not for the passengers. You are supporting the captain, oh, the like the vice president. The, no, 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 no. Because I do. Like, this is just me. I do feel bad for the passengers. Yeah. The guy that made the ship that went against safety Advisory, advi yeah. advice, he should have had it coming to him. But the that other people stupid. did not deserve yeah, it. Yeah, that's, I agree. that's what I'm saying. I agree. But well, my point is that there's no, they don't, shrimp go deep, but not that deep. Because once you get to a certain point, their, their internal pressure, their body wouldn't be able to take the pressure, it would crush them. And I don't think they would continue be able to continue swimming as they're being crushed, you know, into nothing. Yeah, but there are things living at the bottom. But they're built for that, is what I I'm know. saying. So I don't think they can come up, unless you're like, unless a jellyfish doesn't have pressure this at all, because it's just this like another a conversation, I guess, for bee. our next one. But like evolution, if you're oh. not built for down there, how the fuck did you get down there in the Slowly first place? Slowly over time, like building up more pressure, you can make that decision. We talked about that. Two forms of evolution, mutations in genetics or decision-making genetics. I think we actually genetics. do need to talk about that because I don't think that's mainstream enough. 
the difference the two in types evolution. of evolution that we and talked about. There's some people that don't believe in evolution, Sean. <laughs> they're not going <laughs> to talk about. Yeah, the they're not going to talk about the, the two differences yeah. of evolution. I think there is, but though. I think that might have been those might be cases of like genetic mutation that it, it they're That's close genetic, to yeah, it, yeah, and yeah. then it's like goes a little bit further. Yeah, and like the and one sex down in that depth, and then their babies could have sex a little bit deeper. Yes, and then you have these immortal genetic. Yeah. You're a rock. I'm a rock. That's awesome. Awesome. Ah, I can hear shit now. Yeah, I know. It's better with the hearing. I like hearing. That's it. Bye. All right, bye.